Yo, 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 what up? It's your boy Smoker Joker and the beautiful Miss Fire the Diva checking in with What Up Radio. What up, what up? Now, if you want to come check in with us, of course, you can go to realtalk100radio.com. That's if you want to listen. But of course, if you want to view all these beautiful things that I'm viewing today, <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the What Up 100 radio page or you can check in with Malcolm and Lisa. I'm 100% sure y'all already follow them. Hey, come check in with us. What Up Radio 100, baby. Uh, you just sound like a pimp there with that. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, look at what I'm surrounded. I do look like a pimp. I mean, y'all yeah, got to come check in this video. No, no, don't get me wrong. I ain't get me wrong. Hey, I would never in my life ever disrespect the ladies. But you know, right now, I'm a lucky man. So, you know, I always like to start the show by saying y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with us. You ladies are here with us today, and I do appreciate that. We have a whole bunch of boss divas in the house tonight we're gonna be sharing products we're gonna be playing some games we're gonna be answering some questions and of course if you want to interact i want you ladies to introduce yourself but of course if you want to interact with us tonight the number to dial is 936-333-1969 and also tune into what up radio www.realtalk100radio.com in order to see the screen and everything that's going on in the building today so i'm gonna give the floor to you ladies let's let's start off slow and gentle just like that was like Malcolm. It. He should be right there. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. We. I would say ladies first, but um. <laughs> there's a bunch of ladies. Yeah, there's a whole lot of a whole lot of beautiful things going down. Up we go right to left, to left, to right. Y'all so confused uh, right now. What's that with E? What's that? What we'll do? What's we'll start with gonna, E? Yeah. Uh, it's a Jew. I am echelon. <laughs> she is echelon. As a matter of fact, you want to come over here? You, I want people to really hear you in the mic. So let, let's switch spots right here. See this beautiful thing. I like the name Echelon. Thank you. Yeah, upper Echelon. Yeah, but that's good. We're definitely going to get personal with y'all. Definitely. Oh, no. Personal questions. We know some things. All of that. Yeah, yeah. It's a tight. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Echelon. I am Echelon. I make organic hair products, um, lip stains, hair growth serums, natural hair care, lashes. Anything you want in the beauty industry, I got you. I also do meal preps for keto lifestyle. Um, make recipes. What, keto? Yeah, I, I, truthfully, I have no clue what keto is, and I hear that quite a bit. It's low carb, high fat. So it just speeds up your metabolism. It allows your body to eat the fat, and you lose weight by doing it. So if you cut your carbs and your sugars, I might want to go the opposite of keto. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that she we don't want your body what keto was. We don't want yeah. your body eating. Because so. I had no clue. What well, I was. thought keto was the exercises women do. No, you don't. Oh. Have to. That's <laughs> that's uh, evil. Got it. Uh, yes. Oh, oh. oh. got it. Hey, I was oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about. Oh, I see why you did that. Okay. Oh. Are different things. Okay. Okay. Then. But yeah, it makes your body like get into a fat burning mode and. Oh. Perfect, really. So you don't eat carbs. Is it a diet? Is it like something? You can do it as a lifestyle change. So sometimes I still eat some carbs every once in a while to get myself into it. So like if you get too strict, your body will like plateau. Okay. So sometimes you know you eat a little carb and then it makes your body like shock itself. And it'll lose more weight. So got it. Oh, keto, okay. not keto. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Keto, <laughs> not keto. Okay. Okay. We got the beautiful Diamond in the building. I've known Diamond for some time. She does a lot in the industry. And I'm just going to let her introduce herself and tell you what she does. And we're going to get personal with her later. I did not know she's getting personal. But anyway, that's <laughs> up, everybody. I'm Diamond. Many people know me. I am the owner of Culture Couture. I'm also the executive mall and vendor coordinator for the first Black on Mall. Coming to Houston, Texas, opening next month, Black Wall Street, New Generation Mall. And basically, I'm known for the fedora hats, the purses, the fanny packs, the duffel bags, um, new store opening. So really excited about that. A lot of great things going on. And thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for coming. You know, it's always a pleasure to have a family reunion. Speaking it of family. Is. It is. <laughs> Speaking of family. It is. One of my personal favorite ladies in the building, I call her... Even when I run out of candles or smell, because she's responsible for my house smelling so phenomenal. And I just want you to introduce yourself, and I love you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> love you, too. All right. All right. I'm Laqueta. I'm the owner of Michelle Dior Since I make anything to scent the home, the your office, your car, 
the carpet, I mean, carpet fresheners, anything to scent your area. Um, my company is uh, based off of scents for the mood. Um, I make my highest like seller is a, a scent that's called, I call it energy cleansing. Mm -hmm. It's sitting in like pineapple sage. Um, it's just one of those like since you burn that you like just cleaning the energy, just setting the mood. Um, and I pretty much make sense for every mood. Like I have a popular one called Is It Love? It's like when you smell it, it's like that fruity, like, um, you know, just setting the, the, the mood. It, it's one, something for every, like I said, every mood. It's healing like that for people who meditate like myself. The um, scent is a Palo Santo scented. So it's it's like a real chill uh scent instead of like actually burning you know the wood you can burn a candle to scent your home i got a couple uh different scents like i got grown ass man and it smells just Ooh, like a grown, just ass, like a grown ass, ass man so can that work because you for real <laughs> some real women should burn that like something yes, yes, grow up yes, so yes, right, right. <laughs> right. needs to be a grown ass right. man right. Right. i would yeah, be petty get into part. an argument with a guy like <laughs> yeah, you burn it up burn the candle right. 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 Watching us and all the ladies and the one gentleman in the room, by the way. How you doing? I'm Smoke a Joby. Yeah, you are. Right <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> and so speaking of Diamond, Diamond has these amazing shoes that are on display right now. Diamond, would you like to show them? Oh yeah, okay. So, First of all, I forgot to bring right, something. Right. But I do have my rainbow teddy bear slippers only because my beautiful friend had them. So this is definitely something that we walk around the house with. Oh, yes, teddy bear slippers yeah, and all kind of colors. These are actually her personal ones. These are my personal ones. I forgot to read my fedora hats, but yeah. everybody who knows me personally knows that I stay working. So for me, I'm gonna light up in the day. Yeah, light good. though. That shit is I know. super sexy. Oh, Lord. Now she gonna I'm sorry. Tall. I need a neon <laughs> light now for the house. She's tip the toe around the house. You know, but yeah, they really come. They all really come. You see that, right? It's doing its thing. You know, moving it brown, blue, pink, red. Rainbow, a lot of these are colors. my favorite. These are my absolute favorite. I didn't even, honestly, I really thought you was gonna bring fedora hats because that's really what you're known yes. for. But I was like, let me bring these because these are my absolute. And I have a collection of slippers at my house, but these are my favorite ones. I know she drives a car. <laughs> In these, yes, I do. Oh. What? What? What is happening? Let me tell you something. We over here talking about trying not to eat fruit disgustingly in this thing. I'm trying oh, not to look like a slutty. Well, well, I'm just looking like why I got a glass in the empty. You do have a glass in your. As a matter of fact, they do got a bunch of bottles that that want to get popped. You need to be careful with that. I do. As a matter of fact, let me cater to the ladies. Please, please. I like that idea. I like that idea. I don't have to burn that beer again. I asked my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That grown ass man. See, I ain't need the challenge. You know what I'm saying? So, what would you ladies like to drink? Have you ever actually? Pop the bottle before. Uh -huh. You know this is live, so you can't do it again. Yeah, I done done it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, have popped I just, I just want to bottle. apologize for every time I ever put my Pop hands on you. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Right. What, what, what trying, what trying well, he gonna be safe with a twist stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna go, go with the same green. Yeah, the twist stop. You know what? Just pass me that. He champagne. gonna, he gonna yeah. pop the champagne in the hallway. Yeah, in the hall. I'm he gonna, gonna pop it in the hallway. hallway. Let me bust that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And so, ladies, ladies, let's go with the first question. Oh, you know, uh, I guess the first question I'll ask is. What was you doing before you decided to start your business and why was it so critical to start your business? For me? Whatever. I don't care. Let's well, I've out. been a nurse for 11 years. I was out in Louisville doing travel nursing back and forth. I started my company during COVID when it first hit. I just was like, it's just time for me to do something for me. Uh, for one, I was afraid of COVID, I was scared to get it, thought I was going to die like everybody else did. Uh, working with COVID patients every day, I said, this can't be life. I can't die working for somebody else. So I'm going to have to figure this thing out. So I stayed up late night working, figuring out how to start a business. I learned how to start a business all by myself. And no, now right. I have products at Cypress, at District Groceries. I have products at the Black Store. And now opening the first Coach Couture here in Houston. And three other things y'all going to see pop up this year. Of course, I'm not going to expose it to later. I don't, you don't see it. I don't do bread. <laughs> 
and bet. Yeah, now. Right and bet? I don't do right and bet. She don't do right and bet. No, no red and bet. Yeah, red and bet. Don't put me to bed. It ain't about being scared. I'm about. We're here. Let's go chop this. Oh, Let's show no. these lanes we can go on pop one. We're live. We're not going to be able to do this again. Please don't hurt me. So I get the bus one live? <laughs> you get the bus one. He will say bus one. <laughs> yeah, my only fans going live tonight, baby. That is 11. Uh, hilarious. So, E, so like, mm -hmm. when was you? How long has it been since you started your business? And what, what made you just be like, this is it? This is what I want to do? Um, well, I've been doing... My bad. Huh? <laughs> I've been doing hair um since... 2006, I graduated high school with my cosmetology license. So, from you making me nervous. <laughs> you, just <laughs> around, right here. you just move around you in circles. Be, oh my god, I would be it feeling good if he was right here. I'd be like, oh my god. Okay, okay. He still turned away from the camera. See? Yeah, I did. <laughs> because I don't want to just bust it, you know what I'm saying? Busting my hand, got all this phone and shit just falling out of my hand. The visuals. It's the visuals. Well, like, I, Okay. Just pop the goddamn thing already. Cece, I need you to hold me. No. Okay. All right. Really? Okay. Right. He does a good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. They're going to look right at me. Uh, hey, Lisa. You welcome. Welcome. Ready? Sandwiches already? Love She's trying to be got a whole party going on right now. This is Cece's kind of party. Balls and champagne. She <laughs> it's a celebration, really. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, I like calling you Queen Queen. Where was you and what was you doing before you was just like, I want to do candles. And by the way, thank you for doing it because <laughs> that's just my, that's that's my aromatherapy. That's that's what keeps me calm is candles. You go to my house, that's all I have. Starting from the stairs up. Candles, candles, candles. Throughout the whole house. Like, she's thank you. Lying. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely not lying. <laughs> she's not lying. So, Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> so I still work um, my nine to five. Um, I'm a coordinator over at UT, but I initially never, ever, ever, ever wanted to be an entrepreneur. I never wanted a business. Wow. I always was corporate nine to five. That was my thing. It's the guarantees. I didn't want the unexpected. So, but I was just like everyone else. I was into candles. Um, I would make them for myself. It kind of just started as a hobby. And then when the pandemic hit, everybody's at home. I was at home just making candles for my own house. And then I just one night just signed up for a pop-up shop. I never heard of pop-up shop, didn't know what it was, didn't know anything about it. I just signed up and went and sold the candles that I had made. And when I looked and I was like, I did it. I could, this is, this is mine. I did it. And so ever since then, it's been on and popping. Like the demand for my candles and just the feeling when Doesn't like, it feel good? Yeah, when that people be like, good. I'm burning your candle in my house. I'll be like, okay. Like, it's <laughs> <laughs> like it just, I mean, it does something for me. And it's like before I never wanted to do anything outside of my nine to five that I was guaranteed. I still do my nine to five, but it, it's like in this whole entrepreneurial space, it's different for me. It really is. It, it's something, it's like, because I'm a, a a veteran that suffers from PTSD and anxiety. So it's like making the candles for me was different. It was like, it gave me something, it, you know, something to do. Um, and so now it's to see like my labor, uh, you know, my product of labor is like, oh, everybody's enjoying it. Hi. So it's it's a new yeah. space for me and, I, and I'm enjoying it. Lovely. Thank you. What are y'all doing in spare times? Okay, so we're all business women Ooh, and stuff. Jesus. It's 24 hours in a day. Oh what are y'all actually God. doing in this spare time? What is, what is a normal night for, let's just say? You want the truth? Yeah, I want the truth. Baby, I, guys, I told you I want to get personal. I want to know who you are. Like, who are my friends? <laughs> I need to know this. Yeah, truthfully, yeah, within that, because I'm, this is the first time I've been with this many entrepreneurs. Okay. Like, like seriously, it's, it, and it keeps, you know, it growing. And I mean, Isn't it is. breathtaking to see how many <laughs> women entrepreneur there is, of though? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> women, it entrepreneurs. always is because it was always that expectation, especially during COVID. Nobody knew what was going to happen. Right. No. Um, I seen a bunch of people just break down. Yeah. Now, I was, and I always say this, I was blessed enough to see CC, the you know, start from the radio all the way to sophisticated sips. Uh, sips. I was blessed to see Echelon. I'm running to her into the radio station, and then to see her. Not even a year later, 
at this point in her life. Yeah. And I'm one of them dudes get excited like a female, just like he say. If I see y'all, I'll be, hey, I'm in the <laughs> 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 I'm I crazy. I, I know I'm crazy. I know with it. Know but crazy. I love being around that. But really, on a normal, on a normal day to day, coming in as a as an entrepreneur, as a woman, and I, I know as a black woman at that, <laughs> how is it to just when you step out, you a regular day for you? A boss bitch. Oh, a boss sorry. Bitch <laughs> for me, for me, there's there's no off time. Like my mind mentally never stops. So there's times I might go hard three weeks straight and just crash. Like literally crash to the point that I just wake up and I got books on top of me, notes on top of me, plans, money, ideas that I want to do next. I'm always thinking like what I'm two two years out, three years out. I don't think about this year. It's like to me, this year is already written and so I'm already writing for next year. So I have to make myself say, time out, like take break. So for me lately, relationships ain't been going well because of that. But I said right now the sacrifice is for me. So that's that's it's no off day for real. And so we got two ladies that just walked into the building. Hi, baby. Hi. 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 I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Try oh, we get it. We get it. We're gonna pour you yes. some wine. We're gonna catch you up. I want you ladies to introduce yourself. Hi. Say what you do. We're gonna get personal. I'm gonna ask y'all some very personal. personal. I didn't get there yet. Oh, I thought you did. I did oh, not get there yet. She got there. Yeah. 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 Ye
Word of mouth seems to work very well. Goddamn right. <laughs> this is mine, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, when you gotta put some respect on it, I, I do not want y'all to this me. I give ladies, I'm giving y'all y'all flowers. Now y'all gonna get them all for me every single time I see y'all. Yeah. Every day count. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> my new baby that I'm working on, that it sounds like some of these ladies might need when I walked in the door. What's that? Keto? Self care. Oh, okay, got it. I have a. Uh, so what the hell? I learned today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the she's I understand when you're entrepreneur, you work, 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 work. You have to take time for yourself. If you don't, you're going to burn out. I don't care how much you love your job. I don't care how much you love what you do. It will catch up to you. Mine caught up to me on my birthday. Oh, a year and a half ago. Okay. the worst day. Okay, so I ain't going to go into detail. Just stay tuned because I'm going to tell my story. That's like right. a testimony to me. I like that. Um, very, it's very, it's very, 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 very much a testimony. <laughs> um, my, when I tell you that I run with my ideas, I had a vision that was given to me um, about three, three and a half years ago. And I was like, oh, you know, what's this, what's this, what's this? I'm not sure. This is going to involve, you know, a lot of work. So... I went ahead, to studied it, took time, started making um, various products. First, I started losing weight. Yes. And I, I did a weight loss supplement. I stayed on that for two years. Good thing I did, because like I said, it caught up to me on my birthday. Okay. Had I not lost that, those pounds, I would not be here today. Wow. I know that's right. And so um, I have a weight loss supplement. I developed a line of medicinal edible products. Um, I have everything from... Teachers, <laughs> you thought right. You in the show with the smoke. <laughs> yeah. You got damn right, my eyebrow <laughs> right. I probably I make anything from tinctures, um, infused oil, infused honey. Yes. I have a new product that's mm -hmm. called my dirty lemonade. Mm -hmm. You can only imagine what that is. And you also, have that here. I was just say where is it? <laughs> well. Uh, we'll get into it. I do have some products for you ladies. Y'all interested? Like, his mouth got wet when so. you said that. How did you go drool? I thought I was going to ask you a question. Hey, 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 hey. You got damn it, look. Smoke and talk and stay busy. And then just leisure, travel. I put together a group travel every year. It's kind of my thing. But I also travel in between that. Um, just for fun, just to take my son out and let him explore the world. Yes. And uh, I like to eat out a lot, so I like to go to different restaurants. So, and then my merch. So my company is called Back to Basics, and it's spelled um, <laughs> B-A-E and the number six. And it stands for uh, being avidly empowered by the six categories, which is what I just described to you guys. Right. Cool. So, you um, are an ultimate entrepreneur. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so anyway, my product line is about to launch any day now. Um, I, I have some samples here for y'all to try. And then um, there's also an event, my first event. With gym time uh, this Saturday is yoga and vibes. I'm um, the vibe. Nice. So come on out if you guys like some mental stimulation, some meditation. It's gonna be over at um, uh, First Serve Studio, which is um, Yoka's new studio um, with her partner over um, uh, off of uh, 45. So you guys go ahead and follow me. Y'all can get all the information. Oh, it's uh, called, um, my, my Instagram handle is uh, at Tamara Denise, and it's spelled T-A-M-A-R-A-D-E-N-N-Y-S-E. That's Tamara Denise. Love so it. I hope you have a come out. I'm looking like, at okay. all of that's lining up. So you <laughs> doing the yoga and meditation. You got the candles that actually help with energy. Well, meditation. <laughs> you apparently can host this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> my man, you just coming out all busy. Oh, I got the mall. I'm sorry as a man, y'all understand that I never really know when women got weed. I don't. I you want to touch for the first time? Uh oh, I'm sure. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm like, okay, so do you want to touch for the first time? Uh oh, I'm sure. I'm sorry. 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 I'm s
Whatever hair she got on, in my eyes, I'm straightforward blunt. That's yeah. your hair. Okay, so let's play that. <laughs> it's time for a game. You ready? All right, so we already gave out the first yeah. answer. The first answer is this is not my real hair. Echelon. What? Real hair or not? <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> not. Stop it. We're playing the game. Let him answer. Let him answer. All all him answer. All, I'm going to say not all because I've seen, I got, I mean, I got women around me, so when they get their hair braided, right. yeah. so, Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Diamond. Real hair or not? So the guys approaching, have y'all like had guys that's in, intimidated by y'all in any oh, way? I think they just not trying to do enough. I think I, I think it's a too many too many women out here that's not realizing how valuable they really are. So for my experience, since I already have everything I need, for me to stop running five companies or whatever I'm doing and plan for my future, why should I stop what I'm doing to give you that time? Because that time is worth money. So I always tell people, if you want to F with me, you need to take some of this weight off of me so I could be okay with giving you that time because, like I said, my mind is always thinking about what's next, what's next, what's when next. When you say weight off, you mean financial? Yeah, pay for some shit. Like, you, know, <laughs> you want people to go get out in flights and kick it and do this and that, take some little bitty bills off or something because I already can do it myself. So if you taking this time that I could be getting money, why? Why Why me stop doing what I need to do for somebody that ain't going to be around longer, might not, because people play around, they waste your time, and I don't let people waste mine. I'm around love. 
So that's what I would mean. But how? Because I know at some point, even but, even as a guy, and th- this will go to you for this one. When it comes down to the uh, a lot of guys, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of women, even at that point, y'all have your needs. <laughs> so how do you even deal with that? Like I know it can't just be toy life. You know, it has to be. <laughs> oh, no, I'm mine is toy stuff. life. What's wrong with toy? So life? I have a question because I don't have one. I sell them. Cause you were, you know, 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 you did you just say these things sell at the grocery store? First of all, I do a lot of black business with black companies. So the black district market on Cypress, yes, baby, they on the okay. shelf and they've been rolling. I mean, I can only imagine. You can get your eggs and bread. Yeah, you they your and the door has, they have candles. They have fedora hats. He was just, the owner was just on Ellen DeGeneres. A week ago, baby, you better put some stuff for use. There's a lot of hidden gems out here. It's hidden gems. And they right around here. Did she mark it up? I'm a tank. And she done got close. She said, that had been hit off. Yes, they sell candles and all. But seriously, with with the men, I mean, it has to be at least one special guy, right? Eventually. I have one. I've been fortunate enough to come across one, but, you know, it took a minute. Because, and I'm not even as, you know, up there with, with this young lady. I, <laughs> but God, you, know, look, standard you standard. know, but still, I need you to learn. I, I need your pants to be where they're supposed to be. I do not oh. want to see your underwear, right, when you're walking mm-hmm. down the street. I need you to use the vocabulary words that are in the dictionary. Not, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, those cannot be the only phrases you know. I'm kissing 50. Oh, so wow. I need you to come with something. You look good, girl. Yeah. You look good, yeah, girl. Yeah. Wow. 1973 is my year. So <laughs> I don't have time for children. Not sure. cheering. 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 But cheering. 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 But if you up in my age bracket, I, I need so you to come with something. You can always got to have a big kid because that's my motto. No, you know, she said that's the kid. So I got a question for her. Okay, so you said come with something like what? Something. Like what? Like though? you said, take take some weight off. See, because every time I say yeah. take weight off, people look at me like, well, I gotta pay your bills since I meet you. Because you got me missing money when I meet you. I'll tell you why, because <laughs> real women are now prepared to gold diggers. You can't determine But, but, but when you look at us, yeah. you can see we don't need you from the beginning at the gate. If you go look on my page, baby, you know you ain't need it. Well, but then so and so I, I don't want like, kids, I ain't got none. So I don't need a baby maker. So you gotta bring you gotta bring something. More than a hood and, and I run. don't have flick and shield, don't I don't do all that lame stuff. Baby the boy is up. That's the standard dates nowadays. It's 2022, so we ain't doing Netflix and shit. What, what is the standard date nowadays? I need to know this. The standard. Oh, you I don't even know. You ain't been out on a date, Yeah, I'm busy. Totally. I mean, but to be honest, it's, I think I was previous in a phase where I'm like, I want to date, I want a man, I want to be, you know, submissive to somebody, to a man, right? But it's like, I can't be submissive to something that's lower than me. Huh. Mm. You got to give me something to be submissive to. Come on, run that back. If, if, if it's like, I know my credit is here. I'm here. I'm owning things. I'm moving forward in my life. And like she said, kissing 50. I'm kissing 40. So it's like, I don't want no cheering either. I got a child. I got a grown child. So it's like, I don't want my son. I want somebody to come in with something. Be at the point in your life where you you got stuff to lose too. You ain't you ain't out here playing games. Yeah. So it's like a typical date for me right now is I ain't going on none. <laughs> <laughs> we can go to the candle supply store. Uh-uh. And <laughs> with that. Careful with a but, business. Okay. And and that's what that's what I want somebody a man who not asked me for dinner. Right, because I don't have three, four hours to sit in a restaurant. 
but buy me some groceries. Take that hundred dollars, give me yeah. some groceries. Let's go sit 20, 30 minutes for coffee and let's go to the candle warehouse. <coughs> and maybe you could sit with me and make candles, do this. Expand the business. Yeah, yes. expand my business. Don't ask me to come and have conversations over a hundred, two hundred dollar meal. I like my food cooked at home. I want some season on my food. Oh. I want my food cooked a certain way. So I, I'm a woman that comes a southern woman who knows how to cook. So buy some groceries. Let's buy. Let's go to the candle store. Let's do this. Let's sit around oh, doing something like that. I don't want to go to Eddie V's and spend two, three hundred dollars. Yeah. I don't drink, so don't ask me to go to have happy hour or drink like that. I, I that drinking and, and having fun like that is is for me. It's for my friends. Like it's girl time. We go have us a drink or something like that. But with a man, I'm interested in. I don't want to sit there and have drinks with you like that, especially not in the beginning. Buy some groceries, but that's too much. If I say buy groceries and buy gas, then I'm asking you to pay my bills, but you'll go take me to Eddie B's and spend two, three hundred dollars oh, on food so and drinks. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I'm I'm pretty old school. I just try to keep it real simple. Either you're interested in me or you're not, vice versa. If we have a good conversation, you got my attention. If it's lame and you just talk about the same thing and got no goals, no aspirations, nothing going on, complacent with what, what you have, then and that works for you, then that's good. But um, the places that I'm going, I'm trying to build something and take somebody with me. So either you help me or you're not. Yeah. And you gotta Come be on. respectful of my time. Yeah, like yeah. you know, I like to get out. I like to get out every now and then, but I can't always go out. I can't always be in those streets. It ain't nothing out there. Like we can go out when I don't think of the night. Really nice. Got a big spot. Did you pick it or he did? <laughs> so initially he picked one, and then he asked me what I wanted. And so I and so we ended up going to the one that I chose. But I it didn't matter to me. You know, we put two options out there. Let's check it out, see which one looks good to both of us, and let's go, because it's just that easy. It ain't gotta be complicated. Um so we went to you wanna we went to uh, El Fabrico. El Fabrico's El Fabrico's and Sound like a Mexican restaurant. Sound like a Mexican restaurant. Okay. 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 Yeah, it is, but it's really cute, and they have cabanas out on the patio, yeah, so, so it's just you up in your own little spot with yeah. your person, you know? So you got the little curve, you got the little, you know, curve. What is called El Poblito? Hold on, hold on, my grown ass man. What's going on? My grown ass man is sitting burning right now, so, yeah, yeah, so I, you you triggered a question for me now. Same to all you ladies, starting with you. At what age, seriously, for a man, do goals need to be reality? Oh, that's a good one. Nice. Because of a, you, now a lot of you have talked about a, a man approaching y'all goals. Now, <laughs> mentally, for me, I told you, I, I've been married, I grew up around a different set of men. That's why CC loved me. I, I thought different. For me, goals you. needed to be Girl, reality by a certain <laughs> age for me, time frame. And it got me married, and I'm happy as hell. Y'all talked about these guys coming up to y'all with mainly goals. Hey, they 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 want to do something. Mm -hmm. At what point does it need to be either this is yours or this is what you're doing? And you gotta start with me, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, I haven't started a that's couple of them. Well, but then that's all you right. I mean, okay, okay so I have I have an age. I would think because of course you still have to have your growing phase, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a given. So I would say at least by 30, mm -hmm. have yeah. something solidified. Mm -hmm. Like at least if you haven't like, you know, kicked off the ground running, at least have it like brainstorm, like this is what you want to do. This is what you're working towards. Like, don't you like me? Well, I want to do this with me. I don't know what to start and I don't know what to do. Because then I really can't help because you're really not trying. Mm -hmm. So it's a difference from you having it in your mind and you taking the steps to produce what you're going for or going towards versus it's just a vision in your head and it's just what you want to do. <laughs> but by 30, I need you to like kind of have it like I, I, I really think women nowadays, 2022, already have it in their mind 
that if you ain't somewhat got your stuff together, we ain't even going to conversate with you. You said the big word on women on that one. Women. Because I done seen girls, and of course y'all see it, guys. This my girlfriend. That that to me right now is especially 30 some years old. I I do not like dudes around me saying girlfriend. To me, if you still say girlfriend, I swear I will stop hanging with you instantly. Just because, some, to me, mentally, that means you still a boy. Because you, you, that's your girl. Instead of your woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah that ain't lady. your woman. You know, even if you have plans on marrying or however it go, that's your woman. That's your queen. However, that's what it should be. But if you be like, oh, that's my girlfriend or... Even do I the one thing I hate that's my bitch. I, oh, ooh, I hate that shit. I heard it a few times yeah. lately, so that's why I even brought it up. And I just and for real, I don't it's even I can't kick it with cats yeah. like that. And that that has been kind of a spread out age on that one. Go ahead, I would say between thirty two and thirty three, because I figure in your twenties, you went to college, you played a lot. When your ass wake up at 30, you're like, God damn, I'm 30, I get my life together. So if you're not together by 30, between 32, 33, you've been, if you're going to get your life together, you're going to get it ready, I think, by 33. And by 35, you should be set. You should be set. Like, set. Like, you're you know where you're going. Way. You got, you either going to marry somebody, you're going to buy a house, you got your car, you already know where you're going by 35. But by 33, you should be already on it. And you just add to it, I think, 33 and up. Because I think hitting 30 is like a reality check. <laughs> Because you're getting, you're getting up there. We're halfway there. Yeah, you're yeah. getting up. So I think at 30, it's like wake up. And by 32, 33, you're catching up. If you didn't get yourself where you should have been by 30, you're catching up. For about two, three years. So by 33, 35, you should be set. Okay. 33, 35, where you at, sweet? I'm going to go for 30. And I say that because I base it off of what my life was like. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go to college. I went. I went to two. <laughs> and neither one of them worked. You know, and so that was my twenties. You know, so by the time I hit thirty and realized, okay, well, like she said, you know, that's that realization of, okay, so that didn't work. What's next? You know, I did have some, you know, that that rockiness, that wave of, you know what? Never mind, forget it. Hmm. And then it was now, nah, yeah, now nah, I got to do something. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. Because you said that you kind of like pushing that juicy fifty. Oh, yes, that juicy. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Do you? Do you do you, do you, hey, in my curiosity, do you do that down the name or? Do you, you think in the bracket? Um, well, the one I have now is, um, I like how she <laughs> Some big ass greasy, better successful men, and I'm gonna be playing a damn PlayStation. Why are you gonna be greasy? Well, Queen, the last time I seen you was on my birthday slumber party, and you had a little bit of girl talk. So, are we in the dating field now, or what's happening? You know, for me, it's um, uh, it's depending on what I feel like. <laughs> but um, I think I'm gonna go with that 30, 35 mm -hmm. age bracket. Um, you got it. I mean, for me, it's like, I I ain't gonna lie. I require a lot. Yes. I require a lot. And I, I just can't see myself settling for some regular. Huh. Just to say, I've never been the one or the type to say, I'm going to settle just to say I have a man. Mm -hmm. That's that's not something that I needed to have. I needed to have myself. So it's like, okay, I'm going to be submissive, but you got to bring it. You, I mean, I'm, I'm protected and providing for myself. So it's like, you have to go beyond that. Hmm. So it's like, it, it's a certain mindset for me that I feel like oh, only certain age bracket of men have that. I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I do fiddle and faddle with, you know, younger guys, but it okay. just be like, after a couple of dates, it's like, mm, this ain't going nowhere. Not for me. It's not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're still is. trying to figure it out. And 
I, I figured out what I need to figure out for myself. And it's like, for me, I, when I say I require a lot, like I've, I've brought myself up. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't come from the gutter, but I've brought myself to a certain level by myself. So if I'm going to let a man lead me, where you lead me to? Huh. If, if I can build my credit up, build my, my business up, keep a job, do this, buy a house, where you leading me to? Not an apartment complex, you not. Oh, no, that's not right. not certain things. So it's like, but that comes with age. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know a, a man at thirty. He's just he's just really trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So I can't mm -hmm. expect him to bring me up to a certain mm -hmm. level because he's not there. Thirty five. You. <laughs> I mean, you out of school. You didn't been through school. Mm -hmm. You should be. It within your your first five year plan should be completed, mm -hmm. and you should be working on your second or your ten year or where like you should be stable. You shouldn't be out here still work. stable and work stable and whatever whatever your plan is for your life. I can't be sub submissive to inconsistencies. Oh, that yeah. that's just not something I I mean because I, I like I say I'm I'm a lot. I'm a lot. It's so a lot. <laughs> it's like if but you if you way. if you like inconsistent, it's like mm, you can't you can't lead me. You're not gonna be able to handle you're it. Not, right. You can't handle it. Cause if I tell you something, then then you you take offense to it. But if you firm on where you at and, and, and where you at in your own life, so when I tell you something about anything, because I'm a strong leader hmm. on my own. So if I tell you something, I'm not I don't I'm not trying to little boy you. But if you already in a little boy stage, you're going to take it you as that. Right. 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 So, so that on the front right. is, is right. Yeah. Right. It, it, here's my thing. If you don't see me as a wife, don't don't approach me because I'm not yours. If you but see me like, as a girlfriend, if you see me as your bitch or if you yeah. see me as this, I'm not yours. Keep your hands off another man's property. Because what they what, what we when we grow up, what they tell us, you're gonna see your wife. Yeah. So if you don't see me as that, don't leave me alone. Right. Around. 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 Because I'm a queen in my own. I'm, I need a king, not a little boy, not a jester. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like none, none of that. Hey, I'm a so <laughs> <laughs> the king gives people a whole different person. The only reason he laughing at the jester is because he has hell from women. <laughs> Okay, so we have a viewer, and she okay. stated that this is really, uh, this is assuming that everyone starts off work, same situation. Not everyone's starting point is the same. True. So what age may be different? My opinion, there's a 60-year-old man with <coughs> men still wearing jerseys. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. Wait a minute, I mean, now. Wait, don't, don't, don't be ridiculous, ridiculous now. Come on, man. Realistically. Your priorities are messed up. Let's is he wearing it. a jersey every single day? Well, well, what you mean? Is he wearing it to a game? Yeah. Like, is he retired and successful? Any part. Chilling out at I mean, the house. But is he to a jersey? Like, I think more so is the guy who's on the corner with the jumper suit on. With the jumper suit on. But then look at this. You, you're thinking about these these women entrepreneurs picking up the guy on the corner with a jersey? Nah, I'm, I'm looking at it as standards. And it's honestly, not going to happen. I can only imagine. Right, right. I can only imagine y'all go out to places because from what I'm hearing and honestly from what I gathered through kind of throughout the week just uh, I was raised around women so respectfully I always say this for one I always knew you had to be able to afford the relationship mm -hmm. point blank and period like, no matter yeah, what you do uh, every woman has a standard and you have a standard no man goes out to get a Ferrari for uh, any any woman you get a Ferrari because you want a certain type of woman yeah mm -hmm. so what, what? I don't like them sounds at all. <laughs> they come to you. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say smoke a joke all the way. No, but I can only see that with. <laughs> for one, we're going to start off, of course, with, with, with the age range. This dude got to grow up, obviously, yeah. and turn wishes into, one, uh, into reality. But is there. A certain, obviously, well, it is a certain financial standard. Y'all answer that. All of y'all answer that. Guys have to be able to afford the relationship. So I guess it would just have to go with, with age with you. I don't think we're living in an age where we're taking care of men anymore. Like, no, y'all, we're definitely that's not. Kind of not. Kind of I have, I do not believe the, the day and age of the the, the stay at home thing. Like, don't get me wrong, you can if you can afford it, yes. But women want a lot. Even Cardi B can stay at home and she still works. So <laughs> that that showed me a. I'm sorry, dude. I don't believe. 
I don't believe guys alone can ever afford a relationship. I don't. I don't see it. Even me, I know my woman is going to want more than I could ever give her, ever in her life. I know she's choosing to do her thing right now and handling her business because she wants stuff I can't give you, give her. So uh, obviously, is finances off kind of the table with that one? I know God has to meet a certain financial standard with you all to be able to, you know, expand with everything you got going on. But would you date a guy, let's just say, how can I put it? making about twenty dollars an hour just but he's planning on leaving his job or something like that why would he be leaving, leaving his, his job, job to do, <laughs> do his thing that's what i'm saying now <laughs> just like you are it. don't get me wrong just like all of us i mean does he have a plan like he's like in the works yeah we just say we just does say he does he have a mixtape at 50 about to drop like <laughs> no, no, no. what's happening but obviously all of you all said through 30 to 35 by that range he has to know hey man this is i'm in the process it is but let's just say he does have a good job like you in your mind like hey bro this is a good job y'all know what it's like to jump off the cliff and start a business right y'all know what finances so i'm gonna need him to save up first Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we can't just jump out, jump off the cliff. Because, but, off but the cliff. when you because all we started, already know. that's why I'm saying I need you to save up first before you jump off the cliff. Because hold on, let me let me get because she haven't spoken in a minute and she, she ain't gonna be dodging nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely gonna come back. We just gonna bounce it back. Well, you know, I really believe uh, that determining where you are in life starts at home while you're being raised mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i really think that if you have those tools yes instilled in you and and your parents talk to you and teach you teach you the basics the stuff that you're not getting show you experiences that you will start to develop your own mind and your own likes and your own way of thinking things that you like you'll know what you what you want so when you leave a house it's not, oh, I don't know, do you scared? You're out there playing around, around the streets because your, your mom or your dad didn't let you do that. You become super wild because you were really <laughs> So like your role model, your, so, your role models. Yeah, so yeah, you gotta you gotta have certain things just instilling you to wanna be to wanna be something or be better. So for me, those things were instilled in me early. My mom taught me entrepreneurship like early. I saw <clears throat> I saw her work, work hard. And I said, you know what? I can respect that. My mama not pushing nobody clock. She she on her own time. She does what she wants, and she's raising me a, a, a woman to be a woman and see these things. When I went home, my mom was at home every day from school. You know, I wanted to do I wanted to do that for my son. So when I got when I when my son came to into this world, I made a plan, and I said by this date. I'm going to be, by the time he starts school, I'm going to be on my own because I want to be at the, I want to be that parent at the field trips, at the school. I want to be the chaperone. And it's been that way. So he sees that. So when I, when I started working uh, on my real estate investments, who did you think I brought with me? Mm -hmm. I brought my baby. And guess what? He learned, he knows how to work seven different machineries. Cut tile, wood, lay tile. And how old is it? He just, he, he about to be 18 in May. Goddamn! Look at it. <laughs> yeah, I know what's going, goddamn. Yeah. But she so, got her own he has a, he has a plan. <laughs> I, you know, he wants to do real estate. I tell him whatever you want to do, I help him. I said, because these businesses that I'm building, they're gonna be yours. Mm -hmm. And so, and he helps me. He helps me every day. Today, I mean, yesterday I just bought all new furniture for my new business. He spent all day yesterday after he got home from school putting my all my furniture together for me, helping me set I'm everything up. I'm going to ask you I, this I, question, you too. Ain't <laughs> nah, now I got, it got my set burning, in, and because all these ladies are here, I actually feel good asking y'all this question because I never get the opportunity, once again, to be in the room with this many entrepreneurs. You said something real important. You talked about role models. That's why I brought it up. So coming back down the line, what was your role model that made you want to be like, hey, I'm going to do this? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all y'all getting that question, so you better go and get the minds working. Where you going, baby? Sit down. So okay, so like I said initially, entrepreneurship was not my thing. I was because I needed the guarantees. So I was, I'm going to cook first before even going to corporate. Like my thing was since I was nine, I wanted to join the military. That's what I did. I went to the Air Force. I did everything I wanted to do. So when I came out of the Air Force, it was, 
I was already disciplined. So, but entrepreneurship, I seen people around me where it, it was like, like people say, oh, it's the freedom. Mm -hmm. I never seen an entrepreneur with freedom. They were always working on that business, working on that crap, working on whatever it was. So it was like, they were consistently working. I wanted freedom to do what I wanted to do. So for me, a nine to five was consistent. I had consistent pay. I had those things that I needed were consistent. So entrepreneurship for me was like, no, I'm not about to work 80 hours a week when I could just work 40. So, but then when I started on this, because I'm working on my passion and things that are passionate to me, it's those 80 hours just go by like it's nothing. I'm working on it. But to be honest, I looked at, like, I come from a line of entrepreneurs. My grandparents were entrepreneurs. And that's why I say I seen them work so much that I was like, I didn't want that. I didn't want to work like that. But in actuality, I was working like that. And, and even though it's nine to five, I'm still working, working. Yeah, so, so when, so when I seen them my whole life, and my cousins, everyone around me was an entrepreneur. So it's, it's my family. I grew up in it, but it's like, I wanted to, in my mind, I wanted to be different because I didn't want to work so hard. I just wanted to do work, get a check and, and just be free from, from that, that I, what I felt like was bondage at the time. Because I seen them working so much. My grandmother would get up at 5 a.m. and work all day at, at, a, at a cafe. So to me, I, I'm not a morning person. I'm not getting up that early and working all day. So it's like, so to me, it's like even though I seen the seen the the labor of their work and it was it was amazing, but I didn't want to be tied down to it. So it was like, mm, but now. It's like I'm free, like because I'm doing what I, I enjoy. So now, what I thought was being a slave to labor, mm -hmm. they were doing what they enjoyed. Yeah. They loved. They my grandmother loved going to a restaurant every day. So now I I love waking up, seeing doing my candles. I mean, in the yeah, in the mood. I I mean, hey, one day is stud life. The next day is mm, this is yours. What's this? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really? uh, all right, sweet, where you at? Who was the role model, you know, that got you going? Ooh. Um, well, um, it was my parents. None of them owned anything. They were not entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. right? Uh, my mom got up and worked two and three jobs sometimes. Daddy was a machinist. Um, he always talked about owning your own, doing this and doing that, but never taught like T did, right? Um, but it was looking back when I was in my 30s at, dang, history just repeated itself. Hmm. And I was working like my mother two and three jobs. And I wanted to, I was looking at um, a, a trailer for a movie, and I can't even remember remember the name of the movie, but the little girl in the movie was realized what the meaning of her name was. And they talk about uh, breaking generational curses and that and, and that sort of thing. And it just kind of a light went off and I was like, aha, that's going to have to be me. And so that's when the switch started. But because I was so used to the nine to five or the 10 to seven or whatever shift I had on either job, because I had at least two on any given month, I was going to have at least two. Um, it, it, it took a minute for me to break away from that. So um, I think I started with Mary Kay and it was like pulling teeth. I, I don't wear makeup all the time. Y'all see me in it when I'm model, when I'm on my show. I don't like wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. So that was difficult for me. But it taught me what I needed to know when it comes to um, getting out and speaking to people. Right. So now I can do that. And that was one of the things I wrote down listening to you when you went through the army. It gave you what you needed for what you're doing now. And sometimes that happens in life. But I didn't really have an actual that the, the role model I had was a little bit different. You know, it was I don't want to repeat that. I don't want to be that way until the you know, for the rest of my life. So what can I do different? And you then decided that's, to break the chain. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of miss unchained. I just think I was born this way. 
<laughs> but, going to hustle. Yeah, because it's like my dad in middle school, I had an $800 a month allowance, and I would go buy all kind of stuff. And I go back, daddy, give me some money. Daddy, give me some money. Give me some money. Give me so some you money. had an $800 a month. I watch your so dad. My, daddy, my yeah. daddy was a machine, was like her daddy. <laughs> and so I had an allowance, and I was always like, give me some money. Give me some money. And he did it for a while. And after a while, he was like, he said, you need to get a job. He said, you need to get a job where you spend money. And I was like, I can get a job. And I was like 12. So I was like, I was like, I can get Wait a job. A and so I, I, I worked in, I asked my mom, I said, mom, I can get a job. And so I was going, I was going on 13 and I was like, I can get a job. Like I was mad about it because it never crossed my mind because my daddy was the bank, like a job. And so when my mom said, you once I went to Foodorama in her own park. Wow. And baby, I was scanning them up, uh, them cans of them yes, things. And, and my first job was Frenchies on West Orem. I was over there dancing with the chicken. Yeah. And I got my first check. It was one hundred ninety-one dollars, and I was crying. You were mad? <laughs> and I didn't. Mean, I, I quit. <laughs> I said I quit. My mama said what? I said one hundred ninety-one dollars. They didn't give me more than that. Mm. And she said, I guess you gotta hustle some more. I said. You know what? That's All what right, and then, and then that's what they did. At Thirteen, they just created a monster. After that, I was selling candy, I was selling chips, I was yeah. selling food. Nice. I was charging you. I had a car because I was poor, so I was charging to drive you up the street. I mean, I was charging. You was the first Uber. Yeah, I learned how to drive at eleven. I learned how to. Drive. My, mom, my mom was a housewife. Mom was a housewife who like staying in the house. So therefore, Daddy was like, "Yeah, I don't know what my safe and learn how to drive." Say less. So daddy taught me how to drive. I, put, I can only drive when the lights is off. Slowly you push the envelope. Wait. The lights is on. I'm still riding. <laughs> Show the Hillary Banks that took the advice. That I did the right thing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Then, so then I was like, okay, I'm 15, 16 now. So can I have a job after school? The grades stay up. Okay, cool. So it's like the more Great. responsible I was, yeah, the more responsible I was, because I wouldn't, you know, I was I was trying to get money early. So the more I was like, can I go to work after school? They was like, you keep the grades up. You know you ain't got work. I was like, I know, but I'm saving. So I said, money just hidden everywhere around the house. I mean, just stacks. Like one day, my mama said, so I told him to the bank. She said, you got more money than I've seen a long time. And I was like, shh. <laughs> like, that's what it was, though. Like when my daddy said, you need to hustle. My mama said, you need to hustle more because you can't seem to get satisfied. I was like, mm. say less. So the more that they pushed the envelope and gave me the freedom to drive my car darker and darker, I just was pocketing all my money. So he did that right. He like, mm -hmm. go get it yourself. You went out there and tried. He gave me his 800. Okay, okay, I added okay. to the 800. I sometimes flipped his 800. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I'm like, oh man, that actually made the monster now because when my dad didn't work, or when my dad can work, my mom didn't work, her working was like out of the question. And so for the first year for Christmas, we ain't getting no gifts. We didn't know what that meant. Uh, we didn't get thousand dollars for Christmas. I'm like, we ain't getting starter jackets this year with a Jay's at. You know, I'm like, what? And after that, I was like, I was like, when I grow up, I'm gonna make sure that I ain't never gonna not have no money. And I'm gonna make sure I ain't never got whatever I need myself. And my daddy told me. Your best friend gonna always be your damn self when it comes to that money. Facts. So my mom them gave me like harsh, hard, fat truths that like when I'm living in my life, you can see some stuff they said, like that's what they were talking about when I was 15. Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about when I was 18. I swear to God, yes. it makes sense now why this chick is the way she is. <laughs> I kid you not. Like ambition for real. Like I get it. Yeah. I had some rims on my car, 17 going to Madison. <laughs> Madison. I, I had to attach my face on my radio. Cause they said whatever you buy, you can go, you can have what you want. And I was like, sky's mm. the limit then. And mm. <laughs> <Am> I <laughs> there remote on my radio in the morning going to Madison. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but I can't even call you Hillary because Hillary ain't did you did it the right way. Yeah. yeah. So big dog, big dog status for that one. Big okay, salute. okay. I took Miss Upper Echelon here. I mean, to be honest, I didn't have an entrepreneurial mentor whatsoever. I didn't plan on doing it at all. People just kept asking me about what I use for myself or what I do for myself. And so it was more so people kept inquiring and asking. So then it was kind of like, well, let me just go ahead and deliver. I'll, I'll make it for you. And so 
it went from me doing it for free mm. into people just being like, girl, no, you're not doing that for free. I'll give you this. I'll give you that. You better, you know, market it. You better get, you know, get your money. I'm like, okay. You know, <laughs> it wasn't something that I was really planning on doing because, to be honest, I'm not really big or good when it comes to promoting on social media. I'm not active like I should be and things of that nature. So when it came to making it a business, it was just like, do I want to do that? Because who going to buy such and such and such? Because I don't promote it the way that I should. And I don't have money to be, you know, getting somebody to promote stuff for me. And, you know, people was just like, you know, just do the little pop-ups. Like you said, you did a pop-up shop, you know. And it was like, just do little small things, you know. Your best clients are people that you don't know. Best. And I didn't know that at first because I would kind of get in my feelings and just be like, <coughs> they asked me to do this, that, and the third. And y'all didn't ask me to do all this, but then you're not coming to buy this, that, and the third. Like, what you asked me to do it for? And then it was just kind of like, you know what? Those that were buying were people that I have no idea who they are. Who the hell are they are? I don't know where you even found me. Yeah, but thank but, you. Right. Right. Thank you. Like, right right on. I got you, though. Yeah, like, thank you, boo. And I just keep it at that. But outside of that, I didn't have anybody that directed me on anything. So I'm still learning. But that's just what that is. And that, that was a question I never asked you. Like, what fired up fire? Oh, no. You don't want to go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. I mean, what, what, what fired up sophisticated silk? Well, I'll tell you this. Ever since I was, my first job is when I was 14 years old illegally. They fired me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got, they you fired got fired me. from a place you I got fired. It, it was a buffet. That's why. I, 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 it was a buffet, and they found out that I was underage, and they were like, <laughs> I would have just been like, man, just leave. Like, I can't. No, take they, they fired me. They, like, they had, and they had right reasons. I mean, but then I got she pregnant. Information. I did. <laughs> you know my life so well. God, I did. God, then I got pregnant at a young age. Uh, my first daughter is a miracle. And so that, yeah, so that really inspired me that I had to put some money in my pocket because my baby daddy, uh, I'm a big advocate for domestic violence now because of so much that I went through in my life. Mm-hmm. And so I went from working at ShopRite to being a stripper. I'm not scared to admit that or whatever. So I was really young, still going to high school while I was a stripper. It was crazy. One of the crazy stories of my life. But to get back on track, so I've always had that hustler ambition inside of me. So it wasn't until the pandemic had happened. I was working for a company. I won't mention their name. You know, I still have respect for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so long story short, I mean, I was making like 30, $32, maybe $43 in tips. It was bad. It was real bad. It was utter bad. And then I was like, I got to do something. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to pay my bills with just these little tips. And, you know, work for a white company. It was awful. And so I took my little tip money and slowly started investing in myself. I'm like, damn, I've been bartending since 2003. Like, this is what I know. This is what I do. People come from everywhere to see me bartend. So, I can do. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will hire you. Hey, you uh, Where are you at? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's okay. my, where right. are my girls going to be? And so I figured since the bars were shut down during the pandemic, well, I'll bring my drinks to your doors. And that was one of the smartest moves I made. You know? Goddamn right. <laughs> they couldn't get out. They could not get out. People were throwing house parties. People just wanted to drink in the house. Liquor stores wasn't open. They won't let you in. You know, and, and that's what I did. It was word of mouth at first. And it was these little pop-up shops. And then customers start appreciating you. And then they start spreading the word. And then. Okay, so now I'm doing business and I'm doing customers, but now I want to distribute other companies. Yes. So I got Sexy Sips, I got Galaxy Juice, I got Lead Juice, you know, different people who I'm sponsoring now that you don't even know I'm making the drinks, but I'm making them, but now you're the business partner of that. So nice. different aspects. That that's that was my motivation. Like I got so tired of working for I'm still tired of working for I'll work for somebody for some change, but when I need it. I know how to go get it. I right. know where to go get it. Yeah. You know, and that's the biggest thing. All right. Y'all mentioned a lot about uh burnouts. I think uh pretty much all of you mentioned that. Uh burnouts. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all work hard. From what y'all saying, I figured y'all would have burnt out. Like, what are y'all <laughs> doing to stop from burning out? Well, I tell you what, when you're actually following a passion. It's no longer mm-hmm. stressing you out. It's no longer considered a job. Right. So you're not going to get from that. You're actually having fun now, making money because this is you. This is your brand. This is what you represent. This is what you eat, sleep, crap, 
every day, all day, this is your baby. You uh, yeah, even I've seen it. I mean, within all passions, how, how many of y'all really have just fell asleep just right there doing yes. your work? Yes, it happens. So that's what I mean. Like one time I drank a whole it happened. six look, twenty twenty-four ounce can of some kind of caffeinated red bull sauce. I said, Oh, I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna step and get this work done. I woke up so mad. See? <laughs> <laughs> my body was like, uh no, we gonna sleep tonight. I don't know what yeah. you were trying to do, but I'm gonna get it for getting your system. I and mean, I couldn't even I couldn't even get to the bed fast enough. I was like, I'm just like, hey, close my eyes for a second. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. As you as ladies, you, you all need your self care time, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. as soon as you yeah, walk in. You have to, you have to, because it it will. And I, look, I love what I do. I love both of my companies. I am passionate about it. You ask me a question, I'm gonna sell it to you. Mm -hmm. it, trust me. I'm I mean, we can go back, but I need time for myself i travel i spend time with my uh, son a lot and i have a fur baby that i love a lot what is a fur baby but even for your self-care service even for the women's self-care you turn it into a business. Yeah, because it's required. And a lot of people, like one of my little, I just started getting into, and I do reels too, and they, they really are about me, and I don't really care if nobody watch it, but I know it's really a stretch reliever for me. It's oh, a way to be, uh, be a whole different personality, you know, because a lot of people don't get to see the silly side of me yeah. because they just never make it that far, to be mm -hmm. honest. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the ones that have, and then, you know, they know I'm, just goofy, just fun down to earth, you know, but I can get about be about their business at the same time. So, you know, it's 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 important to practice some type of daily self-care. Ten minutes to yourself. Something it ain't gotta be nothing major to do a little something that brings you enjoyment, something that makes those endorphins move around, make you happy, make you feel good. Just take a little time for yourself and just do that a little bit every day. It is again. Hold on. Grown man candle burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes, man. Oh, oh, yes. Grown ass man. Grown ass man. It's burning. It's burning. Okay. 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 Miss <laughs> Echelon. Oh, I'm uh -huh. going to start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Then what's your time? Yes. You, you, you got it. Like, now that I think about it, it's just like daily. Throw so it then once a month. What's the one thing that you stop and you be like, you know what? I've been working. Let so me sit at down one point, it would be to like go to a nail shop and just kind of decompress. Um, massages, things of that nature. Um, another thing is drinking. That is bad. No, I'm personally a smoker. I don't give a damn how they judge. I'm the smoker. My, my only so. other thing, I, I guess, because I'm an only child, um, I'm okay with being alone. Yeah. Like just like removing myself from everybody and then just being to myself. I'm cool with that. You know, a lot of times, you know, people reach out and be like, "You all right? You okay? What you have a like I'm used to being okay. Like me secluding myself is not because something is technically wrong. That's just me and my personality, and sometimes I just need my you're your peace. peace. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to be disturbed. But that's probably you know what I'm talking about. Mama, you know it's coming. Yeah. So sometimes I'll just schedule a me day, <laughs> and I'll go get like my toes and my nails and my hair done. And during my me days, I'm not responding to emails, text messages. The only thing I was running to is a customer about a sale because I, I just huh. can't turn off customers, period, no matter what, even on vacation. But when I go to vacations, I'm 21. Like, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 21. I'm talking about <laughs> hair down, shot, 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 <laughs> shot, 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 everybody. I mean, I let my hair down. down. You'll see me running around with a bathing suit on. You'll see my eyelashes, the one in the water, the ocean. <laughs> I, I know you here. 
you hear me talking slur because ain't nothing but the rock falling out my mouth. I'm talking about baby. When I get that vacation self-care, I let my hair down. Like I take three, four days to just relax and turn the world off. And that's my favorite time because people don't know who I am, who I mean. I can do whatever mm-hmm. I want to do. Yeah. And I just turn off from the world. Big salute. Big salute. Okay. <laughs> I grew up. <laughs> I grew up. Come on, man. What's your name? What's your, your what's name? You got to. Yeah, because it's not daily. I write. Uh, all right, okay. I love to write. I gotta say, I'm gonna say once a month because at least that y'all at least get away that once. You got well, to. every other month. Yeah, something. Yeah. Just yeah. Wait, what's your breather? I write. You write. Mm-hmm. What kind? Of, you write like Zane books? Cause I read me some Zane. <laughs> I do. My first. <laughs> no, I, I, I journal. Have, no. I journal, but I have started writing uh, a play. Right. I love that. Can I be awesome. in it? I will audition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll be I'm not joking. Hey, I love me some acting. Now that lesbian lifestyle. Yes. Yeah, I actually stopped being an athlete just to go do the whole theater thing. Yeah, and the kids I never thought I'd be an athlete. Yeah. I love it, but I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Love being on stage, but I um, someone um. Pitched it to me, and I was like, Yeah, no, she was like, You need to write about your life. Yeah, nobody, you know, like, Ashley said, Who in the world, though? Somebody, and then, somebody. honestly, God started putting me in places of people who had similar lives who needed an outlet, who thought they were in that space by themselves. And so I was like, Okay, fine. So, yeah. Shit, you're right, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> Take notice. Notice. <laughs> 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 Um, so I guess for me, I treat my business just like, uh, my job. So I'm still strict about nine to five. So I don't have that burnout because I, mm-hmm. I'm, I wake up, take my daughter to school and then I'm on it, whether I'm sending out emails or whatever I'm doing is strictly during this time. I'm, I used to be in the, in the beginning, like all night, five, six o'clock in the morning, pouring candles. Now it's but for me, I, I actually live my life like I'm already retired. Huh. I, I'm I don't stress over I don't I don't stress over anything. If I want to say after this today, I'm done at four and I'm going to have drinks with the girls or I'm going whatever I'm doing, whether I want to watch a movie or what that's what I do. Get my nails done, do this, do that. It's like I, I don't have the I don't put extra pressure on myself for anything for anybody so it, it i guess my to me it's i'm doing my passion so it's but i'm also disciplined it's like nine to five or nine to twelve whatever it is that's what i'm doing and then i respond a lot to everybody they ask me what you're doing chilling because <laughs> that's what i do on a regular i'm not stressing about anything i mean because i feel like i'm doing i'm doing what i like to do whether it's work, because I mean, I still have a nine to five, whether it's work or whether it's my business, I'm doing both of them just exactly how I want to. Go to the office these two days, go to my home office with my own business on these other days. On the weekends, I'm not working no job unless I'm doing a pop-up. Yes. But other than that, and even at a pop-up, guess what I'm doing? I'm chilling because I'm working. I'm talking to people. I'm, I, but it's it's nothing that's stressful to me. So that's your therapy right there. Yeah, Ta- I mean, doing candles, talking to people, like it's I just it's just all a chill vibe for me. It's whatever it is. I mean, that's I'm just did. going with the flow. I'm not stressed out about nothing. It's not like I don't I don't need to make a quota or I need a dollar or this or that. It's money flow to me, so I don't I don't have to be stressed out. Nice. So if I want to go to whatever this weekend, I'm going. Hey, oh, we man. down. It's this is where we going. It's just. <laughs> you know, it's I'm like, it's just a vibe. Like, you know, 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 it's just a vibe. I need, mean, we gonna have to mix up so we, for the, for the ladies, y'all gonna have to get the grown ass men. Hey, grown, to go and I make a grown ass woman too, because sometimes we have to check ourselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you so like, the candles have me. And I'm we need sorry. A, and that's why I say it's a nice. mood, it's a vibe, it's, it, yeah. they all have a purpose. The smell, the scent. Yeah, you got your hands full of them. <laughs> <laughs> so let me mess around the air. Hey. I'm sorry, I will be, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> me and my wife, I laugh, I'm a jokester, yeah. you know, I'm a fool with it. 
I swear I get that grown ass woman yeah. candle and the moment she start right. going off me about anything. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bad one and hit a night. <laughs> what about yeah, you, sweetie? You want some money? I'm getting away from this. I want some. Well, I do daily self care. Okay. Oh yeah, you you done did the whole damn thing. Okay. Well, what's your self care? But I do have some big ones though. Like my travel is a must for me. Um, I do. Uh, me and my son, we travel the whole month of July. So we do road trips and we go see family and friends and we go to at least two or three places that we've never been and just hang out go to the beach um you know just have fun just see the sights in that city but pretty much that you know just regular day to day i like to go uh there's a little trail i like to do and at the end of the trail there's a um a hill and once you climb, it has a really great view. So I go there and just think and meditate. Dude, and... whoever dates, you gotta be in shape. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he gotta be one of them. What's that new dancing? <laughs> no. Oh, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. But yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's essential to get out, you know, because we behind. I'm like I, I'm behind a computer all day, so. Any opportunity I get to get out and go meet with people, or you know, just get some sunshine, I'm I'm down for it. But I do like staying at home too at the same time. You gave the red flag just now. Most people that do these extreme workouts always tell people that don't it's not that bad. And yeah. then when we get out there, it's, it's just not that bad. bad. It's just that you just that I went I went away. I went I went to Cali and he told me he convinced me he's gonna sell you a smoke. Yeah, I'm a smoke, you know I'm a smoke. I'm in Cali. Hey man, we go on this hype. My lungs don't equal hype. But we can do it. All right. You're, you're a smoker too. Oh man, it ain't that bad. I died twice. I know I did. I saw Jesus and I think God did something with me. Well, what's wrong? Like it, the hiking part. Well, this is not it's not that big. No, this one's actually really Same simple. Points. She got some good lungs. <laughs> it's really simple. And you just it's just a simple walk. I mean, when you get to the hill, you might have to stop for a second. Second, huh? And then when you get Quarter of the way, you might stop, you know, stop again. You know, halfway, you might pause. But <laughs> when you like, get to the top, it's rewarding, and there's a swinging bench. It's peaceful. Up there. So what? The, that's the reward. It is. It is. The view yeah, is it's amazing. The 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 swinging bench. Yeah, swinging bench. I'm like, 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 i am like 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 i am and there's birds. Well, when you say water, and guess like, what? There's eagles, eagles out there. Oh. That's the big stuff. That's all right. Yeah, that's what but, I got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you missed it's it. You said eagles out there. There's eagles out there. Okay, wait. When you say there's water, like, you mean water. Look at water to drink. <laughs> no, it's they got water fountains. They got water fountains. But it's literally, you know, um, they just kind of expanded the area. You know, they expanded around Houston, though, putting those retention ponds in. Wait, that's here? Yes. I said I got, I, I, daily. Damn, I was hoping what part of you? I know, I can't be telling y'all all my excuses. Because I got out here. I like it. 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 I like I'm bougie. I'm a Virgo. I'm sorry. I'm OC. When I go out, I want to see some nice. Me, I do a lot of lounges. I do a lot of nice spots. You see a lot of spots that she's done. I, I don't, only I don't go. see your ass out. No, we because I know to the south side. side. Yeah. I'm not driving to the south side. I can tell you that now because one, Anyone? I'm sorry, I'm a black man in America. After 8 o'clock at night, I do not like to be on the road, especially driving to a side of town near colleges where they do stupid stuff that can get me hurt. There's a method behind it, so okay. 
It better be Method Man, but it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but all of that, if right. I do go out because somewhere, like the like spots that, that you would do, those night, you know, the nice ones, I like those kind of spots, and it'll be the only spots I like to be super boo. <laughs> would that be something y'all would look for? Do like as a woman, y'all have each of y'all individual taste. Some of y'all might like Kevin Gates, the other half may like uh, which which one of these black people would suit you? Idris, all right, Idris. There you go, Idris. Yeah. Now I gotta think of a, a nigga that's we like the remix. They gotta do both. Gotta do okay, the game. Okay, the game. Now that nigga thug. You know he a thug. <laughs> so that that's <laughs> that's up your alley. I ain't say he was up my alley. I mean, I just he's nice to look at though. No, then we we'll put it like that because I want to get ladies a fair chance. Now, okay, so you said the game. Would that be? A com- I want a combo. One I can take to a black type in and one I can take to the hood. Yeah, 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 even switch up. Okay, so that's a good question. What is your combo? What is your yin and your yang? What is your thug and your sophisticated going down the line? Like, Okay, if I was to go first, my sophisticated would have to be Michael Jordan. He's my sophisticated. Okay. And then I would go with Ghost from Power as my thug. So those are my yin and my yang. Oh, that's a good one, though. Yeah. 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 One of them got All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 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 All What's your name? I don't know what would be my good though because I would say Michael B. Jordan's. I'm like, don't take my man. Don't do that. First of all, you gave your answer. Don't take my man. You weren't even thinking about him until I said it. I'm trying to think. I like a bag. I, I need two years. And it takes a lot to do. Thank you. We know you got a thug with you. This is Tupac. Uh, no. You look like you would beat the hell out of Tupac. Right? <laughs> 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 you look like that. You went out and got shot. How many times this time, nigga? I mean. <laughs> I don't know who would be my thug though. Because... All right, we'll come back to yeah. you on that one. Denise! I would say Rich Dad, Poor Dad, because he's going to teach me money management, how to make more we'll money. He this. got more money. He's going to save me how to flip the money. And then I say Kevin Gates because he honors, <laughs> adores, loves his family, and he's still hood and down to earth, but he also know how to get money. So that's that my nasty. Thing. And I you like say, that. yeah, I knew, I knew. She yeah. 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 her nasty thug. Yeah, I do all that too. Yeah. 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 And that's his wife, though. He say his wife is always considered his queen. He don't even like other women to touch him in interviews. He tell women, don't touch me. I'm married. Like, he honor his wife. He honor his family. He's still down. He'll also kick you in the face at a concert. Yeah. Yeah. And rap about it. Yeah. I have an album. I know I have an album. Now, though, right? He still be they still do yeah. threesome and all that, but it's all good. It's his wife. Hey, as communication is in there, do your thing. Yeah. If she's comfortable with it, they if you can, hey, I, that's the one thing I don't do. Yeah. I do not discriminate with nobody but sexually because as long as y'all communicate and it's making y'all it's strong, like y'all better. You have to get married and have the three. <laughs> 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 or you can go to one of the uh, singer parties that Mimi's going to host. Yeah. Uh, apparently. Mimi? Oh, no. I need some more. <laughs> 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 I need some more. It was a joke. It was a joke. I mean, it was a joke. Oh, I got no I thought it was serious. No. Hey, man. I'm saying so much. Jimmy's like, whatever the dollar pay. I don't know what the hell they want to do. I already know where to have it. Why y'all ain't knowing her though? We yeah. <laughs> we going down the line. No, she said she wanted some more. Uh, oh yeah, well, I got some. Red, 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 red. I got red, some. I got some. Baby, who's your yin and your yang? Um, I have to go with Fifty Cent. Oh, okay. Um, she went she went so she's so the dancing on me. Yeah, yeah. I got to get it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, right. Oh, the boy. He's the middle. Oh, right. Oh, because he, he, he's a wrestler. Like, so, you got to be strong enough to 
You see this? Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, I see the vision now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it, but okay. Yes, you did. So, I like the B verse. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah. I don't know why the other one got B. Okay. Yeah. That's where I stopped. Queen? Hmm. I can only think of like one. And it'll it'll have to be uh let's see. Initially it was Kevin Gates, but we're kind of like a boosie. <laughs> but oh, <laughs> she said boosie. No, no, but but if I had to land on one, it would be Gucci Man. Oh, I like his good. transformation. Okay. I, li I like the fact that he's she about his family, about, about his wife. I, I I like a reformed thug. Like your past, like you you about that life, you know that life, yeah. but you also made choices to get out that life. Yeah. But at the same time, well, if you need, to, if you need to, go to, back to, to, go back to that life. So so that that's that's. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. I don't know. I like a little Nelly something good to look at, but have you seen this video? Oh my god! I, I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. You got the link. Did you see it or did you see it? I heard about it. I little Jesus. Oh, they oh, 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 they oh, already know. Oh, I think it was based off your material level. Your realistic. So like, it was realistic, like, cause the way they talk yes, about it. Yes, it was not like he was. No, it wasn't like. I need a second opinion. Send me that link. I need to judge for myself. <laughs> you yeah. have to tell the truth. I, I'm getting so bad for Nelly. Now. Yeah, I know. Maybe he's just like under their mama. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like he was like the Nelly that they were talking about. Like he was just like the Nelly that they were talking about. Like he was just like the Nelly that they were talking about. Like he was just like the Nelly that they were talking about. Like he was just like the Nelly that they were talking about. Like he was just like the Nelly that they were talking about. I don't know. I guess it's gonna have to be, yeah. It's just uh, his voice. He's just sexy. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 I love that's that. That's I mean, he just. I always said that's not fair. I always wanted that British accent, and oh, I figured yeah. you could call him. Is he really him. British? Yeah. Yes. So when you hear him talk, and that you be like, wait, what? Uh, exactly. Yeah. But always, uh, did y'all see his new videos with his wife? I think they're so oh, so nice. I just He's seen them. Sweet. It's so beautiful. Did you saw him? She's grown up. Yes, yeah. That's when I know y'all will really have a crush on the dude. When y'all follow a dude, they got a wife. I yes. know it's that for most of you. Right. 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 I know that is unchecked a few Because she'll be right now. She know me. We need to talk about it. She ain't even cute. I'm like, am I? D&D. Look, it's like my hair. It's shaky. Don't try that with me. Talk about something in my hair. I'm interested in them singers. Let me check on him, make sure he's all right. <laughs> I have been following yeah. him. You know. I've been waiting my time. Look, look at him. Yeah, you know, oh, my goodness, just the devil's just nasty. <laughs> Entrepreneurs, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has to be balanced. Yeah, I don't think even that's why people seem like that, because that man had to be in a lot of, he had a lot yeah. of stuff. And he moves, like, he, he, his moves are stealth. Mm -hmm. You don't always know where you're going and what he's doing. That's yeah, a bit I'm just curious, who's your gangster? Uh, if I, get, I don't really have one, but I guess, I mean, I follow the game. Did y'all see them boxes he had on the other day? No. I mean, it is, you know, yeah, yeah. But I guess I would, I guess it would be him. I don't really, I ain't got too old to be following because I just, I follow Snoop, but we already know. You know, Snoop is not. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't care how much money Snoop got. That's not something I sleep with. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, oh, oh. I don't yeah. care. But he's hilarious. He was I mean, he's a great guy, you know, but. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. That's but now, you know, I need that, I, I need that poor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, I was honestly blessed to say that I would. I saw baby boy, I finally said, yes, I know he, he's smaller than me. I, I feel great about myself. I actually went to the beach with my shirt off after seeing that movie. I actually could. When I saw Snoop was a grown ass man and built like, I say, bro. I like that yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But, and that made me feel great. Because I thought, I was like, damn, I look like Snoop. And then I, he took off his shirt. I said, oh, hell no. Nah, this look like you could feed him for about 25 cents a day. Mm. Like, no. <laughs> no. Snoopy and everybody. Oh, 
Yeah. He been everything. But I love him. Like, you know, Snoop is a big uh, Uncle Snoop. I was man, I hang with him just just because yeah. he in everything. Yeah. Ooh, I, Martha Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. He did a show with Martha. Snoop Dogg did a show with Martha. That he don't did. make sense. He nowhere. was in Vietnam and Dubai. <laughs> and in that German. He was in all kind of video, all up in by the pyramids, everything. No. That but listen, um, seriously talking to all of you ladies, I'm glad y'all honestly came on here and really set the bar. That's what I was really trying to get out honestly throughout the message for all of you. Because I've I've heard a lot of women complain about a lot of the guys that they Oh, we going out today with this guy, but it's like you you're going out with guys that you're settling. Now you're not actually setting the bar for what a man has to have. Every last one of y'all has said he has to come with something. Point blank and period. Mm -hmm. I think that mentality should go universal throughout women. Like I don't care if you're working or if you're even if you're not working, uh, do need to be able to come with something to get y'all into a better position. It's basically mm -hmm. what right what I'm hearing. Yes. So Seriously, with that, what type of guys do y'all approach being such powerful women? And I want to start right up in the middle. And I see you smile. You got your man. You say the, the one that you have now. But if you didn't have that one, being who you are, what type of dude would you approach? Like, I like the quiet ones. The what? Quiet? Really? The ones that don't hold conversations? No, no, no. They're quiet for a reason. Okay, got it. Mm. So, um, but I didn't have to approach him. He approached me. He did what I do. He watched before he said something, and then he approached. She like he approached. Man, that he no, <laughs> but he approached like a gentleman, and that's what I wanted. So I, there, I have been in a stage where I was out there, and I'm, you see, you know, I wasn't like that, but I was approaching people. It got kind of boring, and then. Um, it was always the same whether they approached me or I approached them. And the conversation wasn't there. They found out what I did. Oh, you a model? Oh, okay. So and then with, with that, it's like, so here's the thing. I I I've been I there. I've been married to somebody who didn't support. So I had to sit <laughs> What? But what I mean is from a distance. What? That's what I mean. As far as like when you see them. I know for me, they had a one, two, three. Either the way she looked, the way her body shape, you know, that's kind of ideal. Hey, we like them like this. Mm -hmm. And if she kind of looked like this, then it's going to make us, okay, let me go see what her mentality about. Mm -hmm. So for you, before you even approach this cat, you look him up and down, he has to have this and this before you give him any of this. Okay. I can work with front teeth. I, <laughs> <laughs> has that not been a requirement lately? Yeah. Oh, like, and the side one is a must. <laughs> I mean, I don't have my side one, so, you know, it's still on my smile line, so front I can't teeth, really get hate. Answer. You know, so it has to be picturing. I, I can't hate off that. <laughs> um, but, um, but, I mean, I, I look at what they look like. You know, Daddy told me, look at their shoes. Yeah. Huh. What their shoes, what their shoes look like. So work they shoes. Should, well, but if they work shoes, they're gonna look like work shoes. But if they're not your work shoes, if you in a suit and your shoes look like what? Ah. You know, I got a problem with that. And right, right. So you know, look at how they take care of themselves. What you look like? Mm -hmm. You looking at the shoes? Is you, is you, is you, is you, you got hair on your face? Is it trimmed? You got some, some stuck in it? Don't be, don't be trying to come at me, my like, I'm just saying. I get, I, I take you home. Me and my wife interview you now. Don't <laughs> 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 I like, don't let this work before I trim this. No, but I'm, I'm just giving an example of what I. That's what I looked for. If you're, if you don't yeah. have anything on your face, you know, you have something yeah. in your teeth. How you respond to people? Because I'm, a, I, even though I love being in the corner by myself, well, everything I do, I'm in front of people. So how you react to people is a thing for me because if you with me and we out, if I'm doing a red carpet, if I'm at an event at a fashion show, people know me, so they're always coming up and saying something. If you turn up your nose and drugs, are you are you okay? So this is just a question for me. Are you private about your relationship or are you public? Like, how, where, where are you with this? How do you know? And how do you handle it? This is new. Um. Just new to me too. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's new to me too. Um, we 
uh, have actually decided to uh, be public now. Uh, I didn't want to in the beginning because of what I do, and I know how crash people can be when they follow me. You know, when I got married, because I've been married before, and when I got married and people started seeing him, it was like, oh, how do you get him? Who? What's that right? Right. And these were supposed to be my closest friends. So because of that, I kind of mm. keep it on the low because I don't need everybody in my business because I don't need you catching this elbow. Right. <laughs> right. God but, damn it, yo. <laughs> yeah, you know, because I will. But yeah, we, we just decided, we just talked about that about a couple weeks ago about being public. Mm -hmm. Well, you know I'm coming. Uh, you know I'm coming. I like the person that's like I look at smiles, mm -hmm. body. I'm being on body language and confidence. So I like if I go somewhere, everybody out, everybody having drinks. He's the he stands out. He's quiet, but you can see that that's a grown ass man by his structure, the way he's standing, the way he's talking, and real what y'all call real men. They're like, how you doing? Thanks. They're gonna actually bring the conversation to you. Even if you were just standing at the bar, they're gonna acknowledge your presence as a woman. So those type of people, the ones that just I guess manners. Mm -hmm. They got the manners. You can tell the boys from the, the men. Yes. They just they'll be with all their friends, all their friends who ride, who riding. And they dress nice, they clean, they the quietest one. Because you know what? They observing their surroundings. Yes. They watching everything moving. Everything. And most people watching everything moving. Because they watching they self, they care about their presence, and they making sure they make it home safe. Yeah, they I'm got and they got shit to lose. I'm yeah. looking at all and they got and they got shit to they normally got yeah. shit to lose. They yeah. have their car, they watching, they see everything, everything coming. Mm -hmm. They gonna see it before it come. Those kind of people I like. Yeah. And they normally they normally like really good. You'd be surprised. Them quiet people. Them quiet ones, they watch everything. Okay. They ain't too quiet, but they watch everything. They back normally never to a door. Never. They back is never to a door. They, I bet you they know all the exits of that room they in. Oh, they really God. observe it. Yeah. They strap, they <laughs> need, they, yeah. They strap already cocked in the glove yeah. compartment when they leave it there. They're already there cocked. I'm one of those realistic type people. They they want to go home safe. They're going to get home safe. And they ain't out there in the streets. If they're in the streets, it's normally because I meet my friends talk about business real quick because it's the time I kiss this friend. Because mm -hmm. some friends who make a lot of money, they in the streets all the time. And sometimes you got to meet them where they at to make those exchanges sometimes for those kind of people. I mean, that's how it Okay, well, the gentleman, the gentleman. What was the question again? I got lost. I got lost. I got lost. I got when okay, you what? when you approach a guy like instead of a guy's approach, we know oh, you said when I approach a guy. Yeah, what, what you okay, we start right there. Yeah. Ah, she ain't doing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't approaching. A man knows what he wants. That's what I said. He gonna come get it. Not the way you come at me is. Right, this is what you see. That's so what I'm saying. They're gonna speak. What well, have you ever approached the guy? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's really not my thing. I guess maybe if I saw something I want, I maybe probably I might, but if it ain't mutual, meaning he probably mm -hmm. wouldn't come to me first, then I probably ain't walking my ass over there. Right. <laughs> and, and because I, I mean, it's not nothing cocky about it, but. I just believe that if a man is ready, he see you and he sees something that he likes. He's going to come over there. He's not going to be able to resist you. The ones that walk away, they ain't for me. Mm -hmm. And that's something for women to take, period. Yeah. Right. You know, right. if he's for you, he's going to say something to you. Just right. some kind of exactly. way. Exactly. He's going to do something. And let me tell you something that's irking my soul right now. <laughs> okay. These women down on one knee. Well, I mean, what y'all doing? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I don't think y'all saw the reason when the guy turned around. He looked. He said, "What are you doing?" He was so embarrassed. Yeah. She yeah. took his manhood. She took his thank you. Yeah. Took his manhood. But, but, I mean, what? What? What are they? I think that should be on part two. They are place. rushing the time. If he ain't gonna do it, she felt like she had to make. The if move. he ain't they doing it in the time frame, he ain't the one. You need to move on. Yeah, that's why. And then two that that goes. There is several boats to something. I mean, if she's proposing, she might as well eat butt too. I'm just saying. She probably is. Well. 
proposed. Okay. So now I ain't, you know, if I said that, I said, God, I'm interested in it, I might give him a little look, let him know. I see you too. He got to take a last name too. He gonna have to take I'm sorry. I, I seen it. Yeah. I, I seen two. I, I seen two. You talking oh, about? Yeah, yeah. some chick. Couple. She did the proposal. And I swear to God, I I didn't know what to think. <laughs> he looked at her and ended up like grabbing like a sister or something. Oh, a friend. Oh, a friend and Ooh, left with a friend. Yeah. I seen oh. that too. That's crazy. Oh my god. But one that was a double. But boy, you wow. propose it to this dude. And the girl had a smirk on her face the whole time. The whole time. I saw her, the other girl. Yeah. That knew. She was like, she was, they both through hands. Like, like she like, was just ultimately Ooh. irritated. She was like, got her hands like, down. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, sweetie. Hand. What's your name? What, what's going to make make you get up and be like, okay, I'm going to go grab that one? Uh, so, I mean, for me, it's first, it's, uh, it's that energy. Like if I'm like everybody else, I'm going to scan the room. I'm going to look and, and see. Most of the time, if I go out, I'm with a bunch of females. It's a group of us. Most guys are intimidated to walk up to a group of females because you may think he ugly. And and my friend may, girl, what you doing talking to him? Mm-hmm. So dudes are intimidated by that. So if I look over there and we catch eyes, I may I may just walk over there to you. But if I walk over there, you better come back with it. You better you better, be you better be ready because if I come over to you. You better be ready for it. Mm-hmm. And so, but I'm, I mean, just like everyone else, I'm about the image. But for me, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Like, so the darker juice. you are in a connected <laughs> beard, if you're, I mean, a connected <laughs> beard, a beard that connects. I can't do a spray <laughs> <and that. laughs> Goddamn. I mean, the, yeah, I, 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 the blue black. <laughs> you want Wesley. Hey. Okay. Yes, you got and, and a beard that connects. Go ahead, come on, Mel. Oh, no, she got to do it. You got to call him. Let me be the leader. Malcolm, you got to do it. Hey, Malcolm. Hey. <laughs> hey. I have a question. I'm, I'm sitting over here listening and I'm enjoying the show. It's a great show. But I have a couple questions. One for Denise, one for, what's your name, Mike? Laquetta. Laquetta. Laquetta, first question for you. You say if you approach a man, he better come back with it. Yes. On the other hand, somebody down here said she likes the quiet ones, Mimi, right? What if he's quiet and shy and reserved and he don't come back with it? But then, he's it looking? Then, it then it ain't for me. That ain't. Straight up. I, mean, I told she you, you got to be as gun as my blood spinner. <laughs> Women are so complex. That is one. No, because I, <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I, I made the first, first step. step. I've made the first step because if we caught eyes, it's, to me, it's a vibe. It's, 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 all, it's all about the energy, the transfer of energy. So it's like, but if he not coming with it, then it's like, what else is he not going to come with? Because for me, I'm a talker. I need a man who going to talk to me. If you shy and, and tiptoeing around and well, you, you don't that, know this, that that's not my type. So if, if I approach you, because I'm approaching you with a sound mind. I'm not drunk. I'm not out of my mind. I'm approaching you with a sound mind. And if you can't come back and have a decent conversation with me, then guess what? You can't have no conversation with me. I think oh, that's the me. difference with the quiet because part. Of what she means. I don't I, want no quiet. I said quiet not in the room. Right. I said quiet in the room, but strong. Right. So a quiet. If it's four or five men over there, and I'm over here with eight females, and it's we got the energy and they laugh and he smile. I'm gonna excuse my girlfriends because it's a grown ass man over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you gonna make it out there. He, 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 he don't need to come over here with all you bitches. Yes. So y'all can put up my other You better feel okay. Listen, listen. I'm not I'm not saying 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 I'm not
come in there and boom, hey, baby. And, and like yeah, 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 you got that. Oh but people don't really understand how annoying it is to be out with a group of women when a handsome guy approach. Sometimes women see handsome, grown men and like that stuff, and they turn to kids all over again. They're like they're 19 oh, years old. Yeah. They women fold because there ain't a lot of them out here. Yeah. So when they see them, they be like, damn. And then they ruin it. So you you honestly need to leave them females and go on on by yourself for real. Yeah. Because they're going to act childish. And then people think birds don't feather fly together. That ain't always true. Right. So I don't want him thinking that I'm acting like these. 30 some years old is acting 19 years old right now. So I'm a, as a grown woman, I'm gonna go on over there with my little drink with my pinky finger up and I'm gonna talk to him on my own. Basically, being out, you're right, Virgil. But sometimes I am the company I keep. I am a lady, so the company around me know how to act. Of I got some of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got business friends. I got friends that gonna stand up on the station and charge with their whole booty. booty. Yeah. I got friends that got their yeah. whole bodies done. So when I they come out, you gonna booty. see a whole fifty thousand they spent on their body. You gonna see it. But then my other friends, the they gonna sit there and be quiet. But I'm saying I got the combination. When you go out, you got a combination of friends. They all serve and purpose. And depending on they how many drinks, but it, yeah. then, it they depends stop. on how much they it's drink. Because they all squat off as ladies, let them drinks keep coming. Some of them turn to other people. So <laughs> that's why I don't drink that. As a man, <laughs> as a man, as a man I just say just like that. Just like that. Just like that. They turn. Really? They turn to other people. 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 But that night, you know, they turn to other as a man, I, I can say we're guilty of that because we, we will judge from a distance based on if we see? meet this one friend. And it's, I, I see why you would separate yourself. Yes. Like, Let me go talk to him. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. But, but see, now, the one thing you say with all the women now, trust me, I didn't I have had friends. And me and all my friends were completely different. I was not the club of doing my boys on. But I've been out with them. The worst experience is to be out with a bunch of i'm gonna say niggas a bunch of niggas knowing you the man in the room and an actual beautiful woman see y'all she together. don't see you together she see all y'all and then the first one that approaches one of your partners <laughs> <laughs> Every chance in the world to ever, you can't approach this one. No, but I see you. I separate yourself. You got to slide on mean. out. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, I, I slide see what out. You mean. Quick. You see what I went? Mean? That was just me and Jay when I went out. I'm just saying, you know, we all got that one friend. And you got to take your earrings off and your heels and see. <laughs> yeah. right, I ain't got to get into this fight. Yeah. I, I got one friend. I've I always been the smooth one. So yeah. he, he always calls me to be his wingman because he's too skinny. No, no, he's too no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. No, 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 no. When I say wingman, I mean I'm the attractor. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. got to get the ladies yeah. over there. I have to get him over here because he's gonna run them all off. Because he's too well, aggressive. aggressive. When I say aggressive, I mean go to jail. He will come up to you and ask you the most intimate thing that he has no business asking you. Oh, baby, how, when's the last time you had such and such and such and such done to you? Oh no, oh, that's like an initial you know, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Also, no, hi, how are you? None of that. Just straight up, right? baby. You know, when was the last time? This is, this is, this is one straight to the point. Understandable. So, 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 so I've always he's single. Yeah. Okay, he's going to be married. He's going to be married. So not even approaching anybody. Hello. Anybody. Hello. 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 Because if I allow him to run rapid in the club, y'all gonna get kicked out. Right, I'm beat up. Yeah, yeah. You want to go hang out with your friend? You I'm gonna be your wingman. <laughs> now I noticed that. I, I really do notice that. If any woman slap a dude, if it don't matter what it is. This dude can die in the club if a woman says stop. Every dude that likes this woman is gonna beat the living hell out of this. That I like. I don't know if it's a cat call. Now, for the biggest secret, men want to know this, and a lot of people want to know what the hell is in the women's restroom that got y'all going in groups? A mirror. Sorry. <laughs> 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 they got gun, body 
body spray. They got everything, you know. BC powder. I know. I know. I everyone you know we all have different personalities but when you're say we're out in the club right mm -hmm. and and we really want to be ourselves we really want to just come to dance shake our ass or whatever we just want to come let our hair down but we don't want to be judged by everybody right we just want to come so we go in the bathroom like if, if for five seconds like hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> say yes <laughs> if I'm yeah. here, you yeah. have yeah. five yeah. seconds like hey you know what I'm saying? Out. And you're not judged by anybody. Yeah, you in there shaking your ass with your girlfriend in the mirror. Yeah, with a whole bunch of toilet paper. Toilet paper, drunk girls on the floor, whatever it is. They show but that, but those 10 minutes you in the bathroom, you shaking your ass in the mirror against some new lip gloss. Spraying it down, yes, everything. It but it's like when you walk back out there, you've been judged by everybody. Ooh, she over there shaking her ass. Ooh, she a hoe. Ooh, she this. Ooh, she that. But them ten minutes in the back for me and my girls, we popping our ass, and we, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's our time. You know, because we not because we nobody every in the bathroom. Everybody is free. And you go in the bathroom, it's like everybody in there, all the other chicks in there, like, hey, get it, bitch. And there's a bunch of singers, because I say, I wonder where all the women are. Yeah. <laughs> judging, judging, because they like, oh, she over there shaking her ass. So, I'm in there waiting like, to sweat out my face. I'm just like, 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 I'm the rest of them, all right? <laughs> I don't care where you went, where you go. And it took a lot for me to say this. I walked downtown in a goddamn Frozone outfit. Yes, you did. Frozone. I had grown-ass people jumping over. I'm thinking they're going to make fun of me like, hell, my hood in the I did. This nigga jumped over the restaurant. Hey, where's my super suit? Hey, <laughs> 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 <Come on, they? laughs> this man got me taking pictures. We all on Snapchat right. with it. So when I tell you, I don't give a damn what people think. People think. You take your ass out to that club. You shake your ass. I don't give a damn. They think you let them think. Mm -hmm. You got your own business. All of y'all. Right, boss. Y'all are entrepreneurs. Shake your ass like one. You ain't got to shake it. It's broke ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I remember. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> it's probably more so safety caution. Mm -hmm. You drinking, you kind of probably stumbling or something like that. I'm not trying to be walking to the club, going to the restaurant by myself. Somebody and grandma on, like, don't touch me. You know, right. so it's like little stuff like that. I have my girl, and we walk into because we going somewhere. We going to the restaurant, get out the and way. we gonna go head back to where we at. <clears throat> but that's more so. I mean, you never know. That might be a butt fucking rapist waking in one of the stars. Girl, right. 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 <laughs> me, me, personally, me personally, when me and my girlfriend would go out, we always went to the bathroom together because there's always those men mm -hmm. waiting by the restroom to, you know, put out them them little sly comments and you know them lines that drive me absolutely insane. And if she goes to the bathroom, I always went with her because I didn't want to be there by myself because that's when mm -hmm. you get approached by the weirdos. We always had a game plan to we mm -hmm. would be together. And if somebody approached us, we didn't like, no, we together. We're together. And see, now yeah, there's the women waiting outside the bathroom with the slick ass cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I pray for that word just so I know it'll be funny. I just know it'll be funny. A guy walking down the street. What's up, Bob? What you wearing? A group, yeah, just a group of women. Oh, I fucked that nigga. Hey, 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 hey. What up? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, then you a hoe. I hit that nigga about two weeks what ago. What you wearing? Boxes of briefs. Yeah, right. I told you it was going to come. I told you it was going to come to that world. Girl, women, I, I have to salute them again. This is a different, I'm glad it's a different era. Because the empowerment it has exceeded. Like if yeah. women empowerment was a stock, this one triple, quadruple. Yes. And I love to see it. 
just for women to be like, man, I don't need no, I'm not worried about another man taking care of me, doing That's this exactly for me, I can do this. Talk. Can you imagine what it would be like if a woman was president? Like, we were this close. Oh, man. No, oh. nah, that was the wrong. It's going to happen. Yeah. You are your yeah. man. Yeah. That that ain't ain't powerful. Powerful. No. Oh, you got a bad attitude. Ticky, ticky, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 Going down. Yeah, I mean, I, I disagree with that only because looking at, if you really follow any politics for the past, I don't know, since. Cheeto Man was in office. Cheeto oh, Man. <laughs> Sorry if that's your friend. No, 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 no. But, what is it? Wait a minute, who is Cheeto? Cheeto! 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 You know, who are supposed to be looking out for the people that put them in office, and all they mad is, oh, no, it was them. No, it was the Democrats. Oh, it was them. So, no, I, I thoroughly disagree with the fact that if it was a woman, yeah, it's a funny joke, and I, I laughed at it. I said it myself. But I really think when it's the right one, because women are very meticulous, not to say that men aren't, but when it comes to running stuff like that, very meticulous. And I think uh, when we do get a woman in office, yeah, she's gonna be better than all of the six black women. Yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all who's gonna run and who's gonna guarantee to win. Michelle. And I don't even that, that that's a possibility. Now win. wait. <laughs> and I hate to say it, if this lady run, not only will she win, it won't probably won't even matter what the hell her politics is. Beyonce. What's the, that only, right the only reason Beyonce. I'm saying is now remember, remember she don't man ran. ran. She and we That's thought true. he didn't have a goddamn That's chance right. in it. Even Obama was like, hey, let's not go down as a person. Way. What are you talking about? Why did he pay this way? And Beyonce can't make that happen? All I'm saying, I, I couldn't. Oh, she got yeah. enough followers. That's what I'm saying. I'm that not would. saying that she's just going to come out stuff. and do it right. I'm not think. saying she's going to do it right. I'm not saying she's going to make changes. I can see if right now. Run, All right, everybody, let's get information. But you got to say, the U.S. The U.S. loves to be entertained. Remember, we we don't took fun in schools and buildings. Stadiums. We are so good. we love to be entertained. I guarantee if let Michelle Obama Beyonce run against Beyonce, I guarantee based off the mentality of America. Oh, you said itself, against Michelle? Yeah, Michelle Obama. Yeah. Oh, nah. Michelle, 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 Michelle
game we don't play. I done got hit with a dildo. Oh my god. <laughs> I done got hit with a whip. A paddle that called me a slut and a paddle that called me a bitch. I want that paddle. paddle. But you dressed her. <laughs> but did you get the paddle? paddle? But did you got? You gonna get the paddle? Was he dressed? Yeah. Look, was literally. this an action or was this play? This is real. No, where's the paddle? paddle? No, so you were like, like where's the paddle? Where's the paddle on sale at? At Clear It. You can find her. At, at that's her name. At. Her name is Ayo Tay, but at Clitterit, I will be sending the information to y'all. She was one of the first guests on our show. Was okay, the first guest on our show. Whip. I need that whip. Oh, yeah. She, uh, yeah, a devil whip, the ropes. Double dildos. Oh, the tape. But the <laughs> games were intimate, so I like that. Wait, you went to this. Wait a minute. No, no, you was a, wait, who was no, who at the shop? <laughs> Somebody had to shop. I remember good times. I went in there. <laughs> No, I mean you, you deal with the uh the shop. I mean you deal with the toys, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you got some products and stuff. No, actually on. I only sold the toys because they were hot seller. Me personally, I add anything in my store that I see is really popular. So I see some selling a lot. I'm gonna buy a bulk of it just to flip it real quick. That's so it's not just you in it. You don't have no, to I really don't care about six toys. I only bought them because they flip real easy. But I ain't really into the toys. I just bought the number one seller, which is the rubber. Goddamn, so about the money. I have a question about it. It's in the grocery store, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's your grocery store. No, I, so I have a question. There was a recent video that came out, I don't know if you saw it, and she was saying that she was young, she was uh 20, I don't know, she was in her 20s, and she was saying that she had went to the doctor and found out because she had been trying to have a baby. I heard about what happened, it. What happened? Yeah, what happened? and so her doctor said. You're too young to have such a low egg count. What are you doing? Oh my god! And then so she said that the rose that she was using was emitting some kind of like the radiation, radiation or something that made her count low mm -hmm. because she was stimulating her soul and something was coming from the device itself. Ooh, look at y'all face. <laughs> But I was just wondering, had y'all heard anything? I mean, this just recently came out. This is not like days ago. I have an advocate for all sex toys. I haven't heard anything about it. No, this is new. This is new. This is real new. No, this is real new. So she said, her doctor was saying, because, you know, women, we we like to be stimulated by physical touch. Not touch. You can even touch yourself and turn you on. But you learn about your body from having been with other people. And not just continue playing with yourself and watch the porn. Okay. You know, right. that's not realistic. That, don't nobody really want to. I mean, I'm, I'm so, anyway. You <laughs> 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 get what I'm saying. I mean, they ain't everyday action, okay? Yeah. That's a bit much. But, but her, her doctor, her OBGYN, was saying, you know, she might need to chill out. But, said, you know, we only get so many. So I'm just chill curious. Out of that's the only thing I heard. So she masturbate too much? Yeah, and something was coming off of the device. The because, you know, it's battery. Like it's, you plug it in. That's like they say, you put your yeah. phone to your they, ear. They, uh, oh, actually, gosh. the charger is not. It's, uh, you just plug it in. It touches magnetically, and then it charges it in wireless. You can even use it in the shower and stuff, in the pools. I'm just kind of lost. But, like, but I will say, honestly, based on I don't know. Experience. I don't know. Just, I was just wondering. I like, do know there's a sense. It scared me, okay? It scared me for a second. I had to go. You know, I, was like, I think there is something about overusing it, though, because it's like sometimes I had to like stop because I would get numb. Like, I think it kind of sometimes. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I think you're overusing it to kind of take your sensation away sometimes. Like, honestly. Like, you playing your own. No, <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying, like you use that thing like twice, say like one day you do it twice, and then the next day you try, it might take you longer. Like normally it might take you three to five minutes. It's tenderized. You take too long. Right, it's tenderized. <laughs> the next time you might be super numb, and it might take you ten minutes, but normally it takes less than five. That's what I'm saying. It messes with your numbness, so you gotta skip a few days. You gotta, you gotta be careful. You'll be right. down there eating piles. Like, <laughs> But that but that's the thing I noticed the rose I swear I didn't know what the hell it was Champion. when it came out. <laughs> no, I know it's gonna sound retarded. I'm sorry. When the rose first came out, shit, I don't even want to say. 
I smoke a lot, so I thought it was one of them like ass crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> throw your blunt in and they put you. Because I got blood on my In the hole of it, girl. Because it was a little roll. I seen it. I didn't I didn't know what it was. And Nigga, that's a hundred dollar ashtray you I didn't use it. I just didn't know what it was. I passed by, I was smoking, and I seen it. I was like, okay, well they got an ashtray too. They must smoke. And so it led to the smoking conversation. But they were made when you get up and moved it, I was spinning. Nah, no, it was just like sitting okay. there. She was okay, just like, "Hey, could you roll this for me?" I'm gonna let you make it. Yeah, you know. Nah, it wasn't no wood on. It was just sitting there. And she was like, "Hey, can you roll this for me?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there rolling." I look, I'm like, "Okay, I see that." Yeah, that's when was that? Somebody said they like, roll just sitting out. I mean, he, he said, said she like, moved like, it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, she probably <laughs> just you. I thought it was ice cream. Yes. Oh, okay. He's like, yes. I got lost. I'm like, you was just so questions. This is when you get into business. Question, sir. Since you've been asking us 21 questions all day. So now, since you're, how do you feel about your wife having that rose? I, I don't. I mean, it turns her on getting, and I get involved. So, do she use it with you and by herself as well? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I mean, you like the rose. I'm more of a dude, I like to enhance my sexual lifestyle. So, me personally, as long as me and my wife, hey, baby, you like this? Okay, let's see how we can incorporate this. Me and her have been together since high home? school. Yeah. And speaking of that, speaking of that, you know what I'm saying? 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 Have to get home to the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, that, that that's more of an enhancement. As long as things are enhancing sexually in the bed, I figured like if, if that's what you use to enhance your relationship, hey, why not? As long as it ain't going in my ass, I'm good. <laughs> it's a cheat sheet, honestly. It is, it's a like, cheat sheet. Y'all don't even need it after that. It's a cheat sheet. Hey, it warms up. Hey, look, <laughs> just like y'all. Got stuff to do. I'm on that laptop. CC can tell you, I'm on the laptop. I'm working the AM. I'm I'm moving. All right, ladies. I'm going to get personal. Let's just go ahead and answer the uh, question. Yeah, uh, why not? We're here for another what? Another 20 minutes. So, uh, what's the worst date y'all ever been on? You know, want to get down to juicy. Yeah. What? I think, I think my worst date was the one that I skipped because I was washing my car. <laughs> and this guy approached me and he was like, he looks really nice. And I was like, okay, cool beans. So when he called me, he told me, okay, well, the budget for the day is $65. I said, huh? The what? Unfortunately, that I had to bow out gracefully. So I think right. the worst day was yeah. the day that I skipped. Yeah. yeah. What was yeah. y'all going? We were going up that day. No, it was Applebee's. You know, the two I canceled it. Two. We, was, we, was going, we was going nowhere. He had said to make the plan. That was the budget. I didn't never knew budget. But for I canceled so I think my worst day was when I skipped. You didn't cancel the date. You canceled. I can't. I canceled him. Yeah. I canceled the whole situation. I was like, this got me a joke. We I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that was not that for y'all. Yeah, that's yeah. a random street. Don't let me on my own. I'm not hanging both niggas. I'm sorry. <laughs> So crazy. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that was somebody in Kentucky, not Texas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was in Kentucky, not Texas. That was in Kentucky, not Texas. Don't, don't let my Texas men take the heat for that. More so depends, like, I won't even say just the $65 thing. One, I don't think that that should have even been vocalized or what the, the limit was. Because you can easily go to a park and have a free day. You can just chill for the load and have a free day. No, no, not if I just met you. I'm not going nowhere private with you. By the oh, well, I don't know if I was the first day. She just asked no, I was watching my car. He asked me for a date. Do women still pay for dates? Like, if we were to go on a date, do we still pay for dates? If that's the first one, maybe the second, not the first. Not the first. Not the first. Not the first. I pay for the second. I pay for the second. You don't need to feel right. I'm not going to lie. I pay for the second. If I'm taking a woman on her first date, I don't even, I don't care what the situation is. It's just going to be like, no. I'm, I'm paying for that day strict, especially if I'm trying to impress this woman. I don't give a damn if people call it an ego thing. It's some genetically within a man. You don't count. You're married. No, they still a man. 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 He's he's a man. man. My man. He's let still him a take, man. Let he's him still a man. And, and that type date. of man needs to be vocal because so many men are like that, but they need to come across the one that took advantage of them. Mm -hmm. So 
Well, you know, there go real woman versus that's what you want. Right. Uh, let me let me go on and dip into that and give you that. So they no longer are this type of man, right? This is a man. This is a man's you, man only. Salute. Salute. Right? Thank you. So, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. so but but <laughs> men that are like this need to be more vocal, and they're not because, like you said earlier, we're in the era now where you got all these. Roaches. Don't let that roaches. Go ahead. Okay, I'm roaches. going with ro roaches. Yes. You know, but you, you have all these people who have either settled, they haven't been taught. It hasn't been sent down the line. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what you look for. This is what a man right. does. When a man wants you, he's gonna be in your face. Yeah, and he's gonna come at you correct. Exactly. Ain't gonna be no exactly. angel, mama. It's exactly. not gonna be that. Ma'am, how are you? You know, he's gonna use his words and the things that he was taught. Mm -hmm. So this type of yeah, this needs to be vocalized. Kind of talk. Damn she it. said, Go She put me on the podcast. I gotta get courtesy. She, she saw something in me. She just like whooping my ass for some reason. <laughs> I mean, you just take the bait, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you let me do what I want to do. So it, it's fun having you, you know, sometimes. You're secure. But I, I do like that for it, like I said, it's genetically within a man. You you gonna know you don't been out with men. I, well, I ain't been out with no women. Where, where you get that? Well, from? I mean, if you have, I'm going to ask the story. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that it's good for women to pay sometimes because you show them what you expect. Because I'm going to take you where I would take myself. Mm -hmm. Right. Because so a lot of men, I've met some of my friends say, I'm not upgrading bitches' lives. They were like, they been a Michael Court bitch. Don't give me one, Louis. Bitch, you, this what you been. Don't do not do it because I got it. So I'm going to spend on you what I spend on myself when I take you out on dates. Yeah, I go on expensive part, dates yeah. that cost about $200, $300. That's, That's where I go. I mean, when I'm going just to have fun and eat, I'll say, let's grab something to eat. If I say, let's get dressed and go somewhere, it's going to be that 200 300 meal. But I work hard. I deserve it. And if you special in my life, I'll spend it. I don't care. Yeah. But it's showing you what I'm expecting because if I can spend it, you can spend it. You better be able. You to. better be able to spend it, right? Right. You gotta support the relationship. Right. Support the relationship. It, but yeah, I don't have no problem doing it because it's showing you what I what I'm used to. So then you see, this is what I'm used to, and if you this is what you're gonna have to get used to doing. Some would have to have. I'm sorry, I, I just don't fit. <laughs> Some would have to have, and either I have to excuse my if I'm excusing myself from the table and I come back and she done did it. Even then, I might I, I'm a little bit impressed. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, okay, she she coming with it. But something in me, you know, I could, could have. It's, it's you know the whole man thing in me. It's just like, mm -hmm. I hope that she know I can take up care of it, and that's why she did it because she probably wants to move forward with this. But I'm sorry if the check come and I'm there. It's just something in me. I'm sorry, sweetie. This is our first date. I would honestly feel like Not on the first ass day. if I didn't. Take care of this. I don't even give a damn if I forgot my wallet at home, baby. Let me cash up you now. Mm -hmm. Let me zell you. Let me Venmo you. Please do not pull out your card unless this is a, a true emergency to where, like, I truly forgot my wallet, but forget that. I'm zelling you this money right now, and I'm gonna do damn near double strictly because now I'm embarrassed almost. <laughs> As you should. It yeah. is, it's an embarrassing feeling when to do it for you. I know guys who have genuinely, I genuinely forgot their wallet. My bad, but hey. Bro, you, I don't can know you take care of it. Genuinely, mm -hmm. that's that's like the I'm like, yeah. I mean, I keep it on, but I mean, it's been times. If you had a, a restaurant and you took a, you know, say like a spindle top, I'm not gonna go hop back on the elevator and run back down and go search. Right. Right. It's right. Yeah, there. You know, so I'm like, like, I don't like, 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 but no, 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 no. that goes against what I said earlier about the judgment from the women. Yeah, y'all should go out and do y'all thing, you know. So I got to take my own advice on that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was a little therapeutic just come around. So mm -hmm. I, I got I'm glad we were here to help you, though. Know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're here for. It came around. And, you know, big bitches in the room. Hey, it, it came around. It's been beautiful. It's been beautiful. I love it. Go ahead, CC. What? What? Man, what was your worst thing? I'm curious. Um. I don't really have had any bad times. You better say it too. Because I ain't going if I ain't got the right vibes. Yeah. So we going to have a conversation before I even go on that day. Mm -hmm. I, I, have, I just haven't really had no bad dates. It's persistent charming. Even, spontaneous, uh, even spontaneous dates. I mean, you know, I've met a guy in traffic and went and had dessert. Oh, no, that's right. I did. But it was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. And it was the funny. I've like had funny, funny dates. Because I'll be sitting there feeling good. 
And let's see, the last one, we ended up at this little Mex Mexican spot. Yeah, what, what, is it, what is it? I, 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 nope, Lata, 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 what is it? See, I can't it tell you all my spots. Let me tell you all my spots. This what got me, though. This what got me for real. So we go to this Mexican restaurant. We sit down. I said, come on, we're going to have dessert. He's cute, attractive. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling spontaneous. So we sat down. We had dessert. We're sitting on the patio outside. We're going back and forth. It's really, really good. So <laughs> he was like, they stand up. He's like, you just, he, he jumped up. He's like, what is that? He jumps up, right? Before I could turn around good and look. I'm look. I look back behind me. It's a little baby possum. He's like <gasps> looking at me, oh right? Oh my god! And he is so scared. He little. He look, and now don't get me wrong. I don't want to play with him. And then I want him to go away too. I'm about to tell him this nigga is at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you just gonna sit there? I said, well, damn. I'm glad you didn't take me with you. Oh man, <laughs> like, we could have been so yeah. else. Yeah, bro, you ran from a possum. He the left. Baby, he like, left me. Yeah, he's he's to get up. Up. He to get up slowly. Right. Walk this way. Walk you this know. way real slow. You know my scenario. It's, it's your it. time to go. It's your time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, if you can't fight a possum, that means I've got right. So you know what he got there, right? Yeah, you got that. You got that. got blocked. I gotta say, if I was a woman and that happened, that would be he'd be aced off the list. Oh, I'm 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 I think you know. <laughs> yes, he'd be aced. He can't protect me. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he ain't even gonna try. That's he ain't even try. Yeah, I mean, he was gone. He ain't tried. He ain't he said something. I'm like, 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 i and you know how they experience the same? I just say a possum molested at the age of three. It happens. Not molested. It happens. No. You just never know. I ain't never had a traumatic experience with no possum. You don't know people's lives, don't you? What situation is nigga in when he done fought a possum? But go to, I like the question you asked right before this. What was it? I can't remember. What's that? Persistent? Is it? Oh, yeah. What did I say? Is it cute or is it annoying? It depends on if I like them or not. Yeah. If, if, if it's it, it, right, it's cute. If it borderline harassment. Mm -hmm. so how much you mm -hmm. spacing it out? Because we are very busy. I forget regular stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you know I'm really busy and you tell me Monday, the, you skip Tuesday, don't say nothing. Y'all Wednesday, be like, hey, remember? Then it's okay. But if you Telling me two times every freaking day when you know my lifestyle, now that's annoying. Y'all not saying, hey, beautiful text, text, uh, text messages uh -huh. in the morning? Yeah, that was cool, but they can be annoying when you know if I say I'm going to go handle business, don't be texting me the whole time I work. And I'm on know what I'm doing. Yeah, because I started at 7 in the morning. Don't bother right. me. Mm -hmm. Talk to me after 11 because I'm working. So you want a good night, beautiful text? Is that what you want? Nothing really. I'm gonna let you come ready. Oh shit! Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ! That, that's What's up with that? Is she single? Yeah. I feel my nerves. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I went back. Not back to the streets, but yes, I went back. Oh, yeah. I went back. Oh, yeah. How you doing? I'm working, nigga. Working. Oh, but in the morning, if you're around somebody, you already know that routine. That's almost like because because the baddest thing they'll say good morning, you say good. Morning back, then they gonna say, What you doing? Like, you don't know that. If that's what you said, what, what, what I was doing yesterday. Hey, hey. Like, you know what I was doing yesterday, Pinky. Yeah, hey, like, you know the world. routine. <laughs> you know the routine. Like, come on, man. You say, I'm in a meeting. Oh, okay, what time is over? Why are you texting me when I say I'm in a meeting? Because maybe the boy want to bring your ass a sandwich or something. Just sit out there in my waiting area. Oh, damn. Shit. Not in the waiting area. <laughs> 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 I can't get nobody there.
This, hey. go, this goes back to my homeboy I talked about earlier. <laughs> a lot of men, a lot of men don't know how to be subtle. Yeah. So that's the only way they know. That's the only way they know is to be aggressive. I gotta stay on it. I gotta stay on it. They don't know how to be so. Oh, so I mean, okay. I can't. I can't explain for them because, because I, I, I'm gonna explain way. for you because some women have a short attention span. They forget that dudes are even trying to holler at them until like okay. two years down the line. Like, oh yeah, I used to talk. To that's you. because they don't really like them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. And we're not and in a right. right. If you're yeah, interested, yeah, yeah. you want to know the friends, and you're gonna respond when you're ready to respond. Yeah. I'm like, you can bored easy, you know. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm in a relationship, with. I get bored easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go back to what to do and got reconfused. I never get this book right now. Oh man, you got your life up. I'm gonna hit my life up. Hey, what's up? If she get bored too, I'm doing, nigga. If she get bored too, I don't even know what to say no more. Yeah. I would say write a book, but I think this would be like start a cycle. Start with kicking down the door. Remember, either. start with kicking down the door first, you know, and then and then go from there. I'm trying to get my fifty cent on. Fifty cent. I'm gonna try to hang from it. Take it. You know, bust the door down. Yo, yeah, take yo. Is with old girl. That's awkward to me. April. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I will say it's <laughs> with. Oh, you're yeah. right. Huh? Yeah. Little business, yeah. baby mama. Yes, that's awkward. To me. You know what's really awkward? Angelina Jolie in the weekend. Now that's it. I'm oh, gonna, oh, what? Yes, yes, yes. It's a thing now. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. What? I thought that was a joke. Wait, no, 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 no. It's a thing. It's, it's, it's a thing. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, what is that? What? Angelina <laughs> Jolie <laughs> in the weekend. Oh, wow. Oh. And Tavia and, 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 and April, April Jones. Little Fizz, baby mama. Little Fizz. No, no, no. Mario. Oh, Mario. Wait, sorry. She messed with the friends. Yeah, she messed with these. And now she with Tay D. The movie star. I mean, but if Tay D is black, it is. Now, wait a minute. We're we talking about Tay D. Yeah, Tay D. She had the face. Like, yeah, it's like it is Tay D. But Tay D's money compared to her, it's like yes. two different things. Yeah, it's heartbroken. And then he's going to start treating women bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right he was married, you know, before so he was married. So he did my do what he did. What was the, the movie he wrote the book about? A book? More he was just that. Is that it? Mm. No. He was on. Uh, was, was it brother? the brother? No, what was the brother? Was it the brother? The brother? brother? The brother? The brother? Oh. It was something, but we didn't <laughs> 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 He didn't <didn't, laughs> <didn't, laughs> that same thing. So I, I don't know nothing about his man's personal life. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, but I mean, you might be should. that romantic dude, just sway her, you know. I'll tell you, he's gonna damage that. She's, she's gonna damage that man, that good, wholesome man. I think he just wanna have fun. I think that's what it is. He's gonna wanna have fun. We didn't talk about Erica Badu. He just wants to do outfits from Cindy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
had that fight in him. He made you listen. Erica Badu would have got a hold of him. I don't know what nigga would have came out. <laughs> you thought I was staying with her though. Yeah. He liked that Wally Wally. <laughs> what you <laughs> talking about? He came to the Super Bowl as a goddamn curtain. Nah. He <laughs> came to the whole Super Bowl, sat in the front row and dressed as a curtain. He is messed up. I, I, I mean, he can't do that for publicity. How do I call him messed up? That is creativity. That's what that means. Yeah. 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 Walk around with Hey, but you know like, what? You know what? what? You remember that? You don't remember nobody else that was sitting there. Right. 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 Creativity. Yeah. Everybody, all eyes on you. You remember it? Either he first black dude I seen with a coat, really. That nigga got a coat. That nigga got a That nigga got a coat. A coat. Something is wrong. That look, man. Julius. Ain't nothing wrong with that building he made, though. Look, <laughs> right? y'all better go ahead. Right now is a good time for y'all to get y'all a good man. There's a few men out there messed okay, up. Will, Will Smith is messed up. He ain't messed up. He's broken. No, no, no. I'm talking about. I've been he hearing stuff Jada saying about him. I'm not gonna lie. At some point, I'd have had to. Hey, Jada, shut the fuck. Shut up. Because to tell people my sex ain't good, and to tell people uh-huh. you having sex with my son's best friend, you're going too goddamn far. <laughs> I don't give a damn what we discussing on this red right, table. I'm Will Goddamn Smith. They, they, they always been like that. So to all of a sudden, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Will Smith it's is walking out here. I lo- man, we love seeing Will Smith. Though I'm glad the Bel Air show them came out because I feel like it's redeeming him. Yeah. But it was that time we was all looking at Will, and we saw the face that man made at that red table during that whole thing. It that man hurt. didn't want to be there. It was hurt. He looked like he had been jobless for a minute. Uh, he re- Will Smith looked worse than that. What's that movie? That's that. Movie? that, that. Uh, oh, Pursuit of Happiness. Yes, I knew that. Like bro, he had the whole Will Smith. I'm getting ready to cry face. Yes, and you know when he in the acting, when he did, my daddy don't look. And he was standing there. I, man, like as a I'm man, crying. I sat there and I looked at Will. I say, he not crying. Yeah, this nigga hurt. Okay. So I'm letting y'all know, hop in his inbox now. No. <laughs> right now, damn now. Look, I understand Jada to slip with the sun boy entanglement. I ain't dealing with no hurt me. He can afford the relationship. Look at him. And hold on. Oh, I don't oh, know how really hurt he is. is with her because Jada's doing her thing. Literally. Will Smith got the money. <laughs> God damn it, look. He's a good dude. Y'all know he's a good dude. But you're going to have to go through hell because he hurt. So now mm-hmm. I got to go through hell yeah. because of something she put on you. I Sometimes that money, I give though? a damn. But it ain't no money in the world you could pay me to deal with a man who needs to heal first. No. Because he going he gonna to mess everything up. I'm out here spinning, trying to shop. I'm happy. He over there cooking up the mood, crying, oh. and, and, and just <laughs> It's tripping. a double-edged sword on that because no, everybody hurt. Right, right? Right? Don't get me wrong. Y'all hurt. get with a dude who, y'all get with a guy. Everybody has their past. You get with a certain yeah, guy because wait. a certain guy did you There's a certain There's a difference from being hurt and being cautious. It is a heal. difference from being hurt and cautious. Yeah. Being hurt is everything you've been through. You are spewing on your next partner. Yeah. Being cautious is viewing the red flags and noticing what they are when you they were hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And I was trying to sneak and get a meatball. Don't get to a meatball. You can't hold everybody at 10. I was trying to slide. Like, what you don't laugh at? I'm like, you really hurt. I was watching how she was moving. I didn't move like that. I mean, you know how to slide. And that's what we're, we're you got to heal. Cause I've seen a heal. lot of women with that one. No, don't go wrong. I told you, I love, them. I love y'all. Love y'all. love y'all. But I have seen that where a majority of women have been hurt because you all carry that emotional state. Mm-hmm. Like, dudes don't carry that. Yeah, they I, well, they do, but don't get we carried a little differently. Yeah. Guys, when we walk out, life and emotions are kind of two separate things. Yeah, they, they know how to compare. Yeah, we eyes. right now, yeah, we got that part. But women, when y'all carry y'all emotions, y'all Please. yeah, it is there. Mm-hmm. It's there. So if a guy hurts y'all, the next man is gonna always see it based on the even the choice that you've even made him in him. And within the flaws, like you say, the red flags you recognized earlier, based on how that may jump off. Because he may do one thing that he may have meant not to do, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, bro, don't even make that a habit. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, you know, now there has to be that could be checked both ways, right? It can be checked, but it, it, it depends it, it on what it is. And so that's where, um, 
having uncomfortable conversations and communication, like communicating is so very important in relationships. When, uh, so if you're triggered, and how's he supposed to know? Or how is she supposed mm-hmm. to know? If she said something that was similar to somebody that hurt you, how are they supposed to know if you don't say, oh, you know, hey, if you don't step back and take that time to say, okay, what you said triggered me. Can we, you know, this is what I heard. What did you actually mean? And a lot of people, I feel like, don't take their time to have that. Yeah, for real, I like, how you, I like how you put that one. I like how you put that one. But it's true. A lot of times people don't, they don't, it, they don't take that time to have those conversations and be real. Everybody want to talk about they want to be real and keep it 100, but do you? Hell no. Triggers ain't even got to be all bad points, though. It could be as something as simple as your man coming home, bringing you flowers, and somebody saying good morning, beautiful, every morning. That could be a trigger point because somebody else in your past had done it and had malicious intentions. Now you're bringing that on to your next relationship. Have y'all ever dealt with a good trigger? That was a good one. Like a, a guy's good habit that made you think, like, okay, this happened with the last dude, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. bruh. It happens. I'm not saying it's happening, but I'm saying it happens. Yeah, I, I can only imagine that happens. Like, the first guy may have been the guy to, I'm a romancer with the flowers, I can do this and that. Mm-hmm. But then, dude is an asshole. You yeah, know, he, yeah. he could be the one like, I hated him, I don't give a damn. And then this other guy tries to be impressive, I'm going to buy flowers, start giving her flowers, and it's like, do you start feeling kind of uncomfortable dealing with that? or I, For real, like, have, have any of you had that one? I just try not to bring any of that with me to the next relationship. So, so we need your daily living, and we need your candles, yeah. and we need your motivation. <laughs> <laughs> and we need some therapy at this point. <laughs> I just I need it. Just I guess I'm just talking about it. Yeah. You got to have problems. You rub on this thing. I like that because I ain't got nothing to do with you. You got to You got to have problems. That is part of it. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. That is part of it. So am I. But, but. Seriously, black women have products. All this. Facts, because my daughter's got two different sets of hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> they do, I, and it's crazy. I feel sorry for my wife, because I don't know how to break. No, I was going to go wow. to cosmetology school to learn. Wow. And I had a son. YouTube. I was like, yeah, like, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. No, but then it's a whole lot of stuff that just don't work with their hair. YouTube. So, Echelon. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, seriously. Go back to who's talking about them, them high triggers. Them, them good triggers. Them good triggers. Some good triggers. Like, don't try to sneak back in. I'm not going to go ahead me. Come on. This CC I did with meatballs. She said she was going to find a way to put balls in her mouth. She was going to put in her mouth. I thought he was drinking this stuff. He came in with his plate. You know CC loves her balls. I thought he was drinking a sample plate. That's all. Are those Nelly size balls? I gotta know. Nelly size. You are so wrong. I gotta know. That's Mr. Tip Drew. You're not gonna do that. Oh, you need some tea. 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 Oh, you Way to go after that. What, what's next to become bigger as an entrepreneur? Did you drop a sex tape? What? Oh, uh, no. You know, only fans? I'm sorry. Hey, look. I mean, <laughs> I you, see, you see my face? I, I kind of plotted a little bit there. Like, what's the next step? <laughs> Cause I'm all real. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't. Sex sales. They do. Hey, I ain't. Hey, and plus size women are in the, you know, in the trends right, right now. now. You better hit it while it's hot. Yeah, yeah. I got the game bus with right. private right. in the windows, and you I got six TVs on there. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, I got a whole right. studio. I'm about to get, Lisa, don't forget to remind me about the ring lights when we get the ring. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, got that. No, as, um, as entrepreneurs, uh, and I can go down the line and uh, actually make this the uh, closing question for you ladies. This. I thought about it. I really did. I, I thought about that deal where you hit me with. I said I was sorry. That's on live. That's on ever streaming. That's out there. They don't take an effort. I'm going to need a candle after what I've been through. Don't even want to mind. No, uh, and of course, uh, I'm starting just in my order, Ms. Echelon. Uh, what is the next step? Yeah. Um, I would say finishing school uh, is what I really want to do. 
Um, so like I have, a, I consider my my health, well, my products. I consider them beauty pharmaceuticals, and that's more so because I work in healthcare field. Mm -hmm. So I do want to finish um, my schooling in nursing yes. um, because I've done cosmetology and of course the healthcare and the nursing field. So that's why I made a, a beauty pharmaceutical line. Mm -hmm. So that's next week. So it's some professional. Well, I'm right now I'm in the middle of a huge project opening the you know Houston's first black home mall on March the 10th, as well as Coach Couture's first storefront. Um, and where that's gonna be at? That's gonna be on Richmond, Richmond Avenue. So a lot of that's on my page. You look up Denise Wilkes, people are culture underscore couture LLC on Instagram. So I don't know. That project is heavy. I bet. <laughs> like the, uh, like the mall, the mall is, is heavy because I'm like I'm responsible. Richmond, uh, Richmond Avenue, like here in Houston, the intersection over by, by the Valero. Yes, right over there. Yes. So that project is very heavy like monday through friday i interview everybody i take them on tours i sign up the people we do the leases we do the contracts so doing that alongside promoting for coach couture personal store plus the other two locations that i have product get plus my baby cousin vintage with fancy vibes she's moving down here so i already got my little baby cousin moving down here she's moving with me to help me push the company because the first coach couture is all about me and we launched off a clothing line about us so i'm already looking for another location for my cousin and i to have a bigger location but i wanted to have half of the store catered to my baby cousin fantasia that i love and then the other side gonna be catered to my vibe and it's it, you know I'm, I'm all about that so that's one of the projects i'm working on and me and my assistant we have another project that we're not going to announce we're going to pop up with it but that one's due to drop but two of those projects do to drop this summer so it's a lot of stuff I'm working on that I'm just not gonna talk about it. Y'all just gonna have to see about it. I'm gonna talk about something. Y'all just gotta see about it. Cause I won't yeah, be in sure. the first black mall. Yeah, you need to be in the first black on mall. You need to be in the first black on mall. We have storefronts, ten by ten and larger. We have a lounge. We have a club. We have um, we're doing food trucks, valet parking, twenty four hour security, uh, cleaning companies. We're also building a salon, eighty six hundred square foot, also on the property. So people that want to have their own private salon suites are going to have that with a full-size, full bar, kids PlayStation, six community washer bowls. Like, so it's, all it's these ladies can have their thing in us. So they all can have their own storefront. It's just that y'all got to be ready. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, I walk that building all day, touring, signing contracts, and every day I'm just scratching out so, 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 so. And I tell people the truth. Right now is the best time to get in. Three months from now, after we have 97, 99 in the parking lot, because they already booked, commercial already booked. That's you it. ain't gonna be able to afford to get up in now. I'll tell you sure. Like yeah. now's the best time. Anytime anything break through fresh, yeah, yeah. That's just like with stocks, you better get it. Get like, it on the ground get floor. It. Get it. You better get it. Time. You better get it. Because half of the buildings almost already sold. We'll talk after this. Exactly. We'll talk after this. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. You know what's coming. Oh, what's next for me? What uh, is next? Ugh. Constantly building. I, I am um working on being a motivational speaker. Because okay. uh, and then of course running my show, making it bigger than what it is. Um, I primarily promote us because I feel like we don't have enough platforms. We don't have enough spaces where we can come and talk about our stories, what we've been through, where we're going, what we got going on, and all of that, all of that. So um, that's where I'm going with it. Um, I want to reach back and get mine. So it's time. I like that. I'm gonna deal with you on that too. Come on, sweet. So I guess for me, for the Michelle Dior sense, it's actually following up with Denise about this new store, mm -hmm. uh, the Black Mall, um, because I do get that question a lot. People ask, where's my storefront? Um, so I am going to follow up with her about that. Um, I want to get more into the um, teaching side of uh, candle making because people, you know, I, I feel like. I, I'm a vibe and you so are, I just want to create that vibe like you come just like you come and like a paint sip like a paint and sip almost concept but you make candles mm -hmm. so it is so it, it you know I teach you I don't teach you everything 
that is a different phrase. But <laughs> I, right? But I, I really want to to create like this vibe. Like, you know, you come, make candles, you know, it's very soothing. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. um, it's soothing for me. And just I want to create a vibe for like myself and, and and different women that, you know, we could come talk and meditate. You know, I want to do smoking, uh, smoking drips. I mean, every, you know, there all kind of different things. You 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 know, like different things. Like that's why I'm at. I'm all about like you know, networking with with everyone. Whatever. If I could bring my candles and we could smoke it and pour. I mean, smoke and drip. Whatever we could do, you know, sip and drip. I mean, everything. That's what I want. Um, we can and we will. I mean, whatever it is, and I do want to open up that storefront because I think I feel like it's time for me to, you know, move my brand forward. It is no longer just a hobby; mm -hmm. it's something that I'm actually like really invested it's in. A lifestyle. And, and it's a like it's a vibe. Mm -hmm. It's it's it a is. vibe. It's a mood. It's everything. So it's like I need to really put forth the effort and put it out there more because you know pop up shops they're cool I, i've met a lot of people i met everybody in here from a pop-up yes, shop pretty much so it, it's affording me to meet a lot of people but i need to be at that one standstill this is my brand this is where i'm at i need an address i need mm -hmm. a location outside of my garage so <laughs> it's our second time again yeah. no. you know, wow. it means, it means so, something, so, yeah, it it means it's, something. It's, it's it's in the words it, it's time for that you know I say what it means, so that's when God is like, look, mm -hmm. goddamn it, look. What the hell else I gotta do? Right, I didn't know she was gonna be here. I gave you everything to move it forward. You mm -hmm. just gotta make the move. Yeah. Come on, sweet, last but not least. Come on with it. Yeah. I'm just, uh, <clears throat> for me right now, I'm just really focused on developing my brand, getting my products out there. I've made some amazing connections over the last two weeks and some things that just kind of fell into my lap and it just feels right so I'm looking to expand set up some uh distribution deals and just keep moving forward so when time permits and it's time then so be it i don't have no deadline on it i'm just propelling forward yeah man ladies i've honestly enjoyed I, I gotta say more than enjoy. I, I don't even know the word that I'm looking for, but I I love every moment of this sitting in a room full of all these powerful women. And I was raised by women. I have I have nothing but the purest of respect. And this goes for Lisa as well. She knows that every single woman in here is an entrepreneur. Every single one. I'm blessed to be in front of all of you. And I, I hate closing out. I really do. I really do. Because I, I, I want to see y'all more. I love sitting at a table like this. Like, hey, let's meet up for dinner and talk some business. So I want more of that to happen. But unfortunately, I got to bring it to a close. I have to. So, to all y'all out there, seeing all of this, yeah, yeah, I want you to be jealous, guys. <laughs> seeing all of this. I've honestly had a whole lot of fun with y'all with my girl CC, Fire the Diva in this month, Malcolm and Lisa in this month. This has been Real Talk 100 Radio and What Up Radio. Hey, what up? I love these ladies. You got the time you can tune in every Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell them. Look, like the look, 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 according to my co-host, my lovely co-host, Fire the Diva, you can tune in to us every Thursday on Facebook at One Up One Hundred Radio at 7 p.m. Central with the Smoker Joker and Fire and more of all these blessings. I want you to get jealous of it all, baby. What up? <laughs> Oh, me at least give me some of the vibe too. I want to shake my shoulders. All right. I got a shake, you know. Shake your neck. Oh, yeah. What's that? Break your neck. Come on. Give me some. I think I can get some of a chicken salad sandwich. Oh, that's right. Say that was good, too. Well, I ain't eat a damn thing. I'm high as hell. I'm the only thing in here with munchies. And I was sliding out. Tip on the ground. Oh, my slide. I know. I know. I know. I know. I <laughs> That's probably why you went with this. Yeah, he was hungry.
Y'all yeah, gonna make me use that. all the meatball by myself. We ate a lot. I had a couple. All right, give me. Let me see. Yeah, hey, man, what you gonna play from? Oh, I we ran out, so got a whole bunch of napkins right oh, here. Why Sorry. Why is it racist? No. Who's wrong, man? Leather glove, no seat. My bad. We still alive. I'm sure, lady, if you did. I'm still.